shit. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Oh God, and we're welcome back. back. We're back. SOS. Episode fucking 23. Yeah. Uh, after a summer break, I hope everybody here enjoyed their summer break, got to uh, relax, or if you know, See you each had other to work. in person. Um, Ollie, Dakota, and Ava in That's person right. hang out at Gen Con. So How was it? Great. How was Gen Con this year? It was so busy. Very busy. Um, yeah. But, but we did. Good. We found time. We had food. We, we, had, dinner. we had dinner. Uh, yeah. Bob brought was... donuts. And yes. we no, no, I brought cookies. Oh, yeah. Oh, they right. were as big as fucking that's donuts. Right. But that's cookies. what it was. They were as thick, and the cookies were filled with stuff. So they ate like oh, a, yeah. like a, anyways, they were delicious. Yep. And then we I'm sat jealous. around the lobby and had drinks and caught up. It was gr- it was yeah. great. It that's was awesome. I, I mean, got to see, it would have been better had, a little bit, but had you been there, but I did catch up with you at Pop Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It went we're from, both in India different times. Yeah, we really just like, were. Like a 45 minute hour long dinner to us like hanging out till three o'clock in the morning uh, in, in, well, a, yeah, in a we're hotel. Talking about everything, playing video games, playing va- talking about vampire, talking about mm-hmm. fucking werewolf, talking about wraith and all the other weird rule sets. And new things coming. Oh, yes. And new things coming that uh, those books have arrived, by the way. Oh, uh, we'll leave that there. ready. <laughs> yeah, nothing to do with vampire. A wholly separate project that is uh, oh, that'll be fun really? for people to reveal when we get to work on it officially. We'll talk um, later, Dot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Later. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to be back. I can't believe we've been gone for three months. Has it been just about yeah, three, months. three months? What? Really? July. Yeah. We ended yeah. in July. We ended uh, yeah. July first right. first yeah, week yeah, of yeah. July because. Dot did payroll this morning. Thank you, everybody, for supporting. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was, it was, in fact, uh, the actually it was the second week of July because we skipped July fourth. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, right, right, right. Okay, yeah, guys, it was the eighth. Yeah, what are, I'm curious where your thoughts are. I'm ready to jump in just about any second, but I know the past couple of weeks we've been talking a little bit. Are you guys? nervous are you excited oh, boy. <laughs> we're officially the back half of the last season let me, this is it we're let in me the tell you a times. story Mathis. a real real quick one uh, and for all you out there um i raced a tropical storm to dragon con uh at the first of, of this month because uh, it came through and I had to get the hell out of South Georgia so i literally sandbagged down my rv and hit the road at like 4 a.m to beat the storm on the drive racing this storm past the Macon line here in Georgia i listened to my Dakota playlist on loop oh i, and, I did that when and, i get my makeup and thought my Ava <laughs> all about this season how how freaking hyped and sad a little bit i'm gonna be and all of the things that like i just i can't wait there were so many questions and answered and so many characters so you should know a four hour trip racing a tropical storm was consumed by nothing but dakota thoughts that's good i mean I, yeah we're at the end man we don't know who's gonna live who's gonna not who, who won't i don't know it's gonna be i, yeah, I just can't believe we're here I have a surprise coming um, because uh, it's it'll be probably a couple of weeks. It might be like a month. Um, but, you know, I was thinking about our new our, our final, you know, the, the, the stretch here, the home stretch. Yeah. And I was like, you know, we uh, I, we deserve some nice art of our game. Uh, oh, so uh, oh, it right. may be a full campaign poster. Uh, I've, I've already spoiled the surprise. I spoiled the surprise. Yeah, wait, surprise. wait, wait, wait. Let do you want to spoil you the is. other surprise? I can't keep it in. Do you want to spoil yeah. the other surprise that we've been working on? Me yes, and Tracy? you do. You oh, yes, to. yes. Yeah, yeah. So yes. yeah, this is something we were talking about early yes. in season three about what I, you know, some rewards for the end of the season, but uh, we got some done early. Go ahead, spoil it. <laughs> okay okay we we thought what what um what could we offer all of you that was like we've given you merch you've supported we give you after shows uh we wanted to give you something else um so we thought of all the many times we've been asking the freaking discord how you can bring our characters into your games we decided the best way to do that was lore sheets right yeah, we're making lore sheets. That's It'll right. be a lore sheet for the characters here. SOS. Yeah, I would love to even have uh, a Saito lore sheet. And, yeah, and I know that's Emmy a lore sheet. <laughs> if we can make that happen, for sure. Can we tell them that there's two sheets? It's not just Th- one that's per person. What, yeah, that's true. I'm getting. I'm putting in two. I think Bub's gonna oh, do on. two. So like, I'll actually yeah. spoil the first one. I finished it. I finished it for first draft editing this morning, um, <laughs> which is a gangrel only sheet. Surprise. Um, and it is for all of our concrete jungle babies. Uh, all of those those gang girl out there that don't live in the freaking forest or they live in the urban sprawl. Uh, and so it's a, it's a sheet built for gang girl to better survive the urban sprawl. 
That's right. Yeah, I think it's super, like, it's so smart. There's not really a lot out there. Like, even my cursory research of, like, even Ruby City Gangrel stuff. Even stuff is not based for City Gangrel. Yeah, Gangrel are not really built for the city, so having a City Gangrel lore sheet is a really, really cool, and, surpri and again, surprisingly, something that hasn't been done yet. And, and you know what? My awesome. current life has really inspired one of the dots on the chart uh so just and and honestly dakota has too because she's living that life so uh and then i will be putting in a dakota mm. one but i haven't finished that yet so you can bring like dakota yeah. into your stories like a lore sheet so, so yeah we, we will be yeah. getting sheets for each of us individually and then we're building yeah. one locationally or clan based so there's gonna be one for ollie and then there's gonna be another for the lights out pub yeah mm. what about ava that's nice so yes, I've been working on an Ava uh, specific lore sheet um, and I am very excited. I took some time to brainstorm and it should be done this week. Um, it's Ava Heloise, the rose that blooms in the shadows. Um, so very poetic. Uh, I'll give a little hint on one of the uh, the dots is called Seer of Chicago. Um, so Ava's gift of prophecy allows her to see beyond the veil and shadowy premonitions. And it may have something to do with uh, helping with getting premonitions and shadow, like something beyond what the standard premonition is. Um, Newsflash, guys. Every premonition is just of Saito. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's the psycho premonition. That's actually the, five dot, Ollie. I mean, the, uh, no, the five me. dot one, the prince just kills you. You take the fifth dot of Ava Heloise and you just die. Yeah, and you die. So no. uh, we've got all kinds of ideas yeah. um, mm -hmm. spinning around. And I hope, I really hope that Mathis makes a Sybil. We'll call oh, it, we'll call it yeah. like Night of the Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll make a civil one. That's uh, not a bad idea, yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think about doing that. That's a good idea. I could definitely do a civil one. I might do, uh, well, it depends. Well, I, even if it doesn't, I think a Grant one would be hilarious. <gasps> a Grant Ooh. one. A Grant lore sheet. It would be great. It, it doesn't really, you know, or, it's not or very Bill powerful. Grant, you could build Grant offer? into Ollie's uh, pub, Lights Out Pub, that he's like, he's oh, yeah. the core oh, character Oh, no, yeah, that might Lights be a better pub. idea. It's like Grant is more of a part of a Lights you, Out Pub you, lore you sheet. You buy into Grant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the fifth dot. Grant is like Grant's he's the, the super yeah. Fan. Grant's the fifth dot. You get him as like a contact. That's fucking it. sick. I love that. I love that a lot. <laughs> Anyways, here we are, everybody making the sheets for you live. Um, we're kicking off so, a whole yeah, bunch of stuff. That. So our break was much needed and clearly has been somewhat productive. Yeah, somewhat, somewhat productive. Uh, for me, mm. debatable. <laughs> uh, we are uh, yeah, we're gonna be diving in now. I say we just kind of jump into it. Um, if you guys like what you see here and you want more of this. Um, obviously, once that this show ends, which there will be an end, it's not the end of us here over on the, on the on the Twitch stream. There will be something that comes along to fill its place. But don't worry, that's such a long ways away still. Uh, we're looking at 2024 probably for that. But if you like what we do and you want to see more of us doing this kind of thing, you can start uh, directly support us by just subscribing here on the Twitch channel, which gets you some sick emotes. Uh, you can watch the VODs instantaneously afterward. And... Um, if you want to go above and beyond that and really just support every aspect of what we do uh, or just kind of, you know, bypass the ads part of, of supporting us here, you can uh, head over to patreon.com slash pod by night, which gives you after shows, both audio at five dollar and video at ten dollar plus access to a community uh, game. And there's also a free discord that you can join that if you are part of the Patreon, you'll get like a special colored name and access to a locked room. And depending on your tier, you can even participate in that global, uh, not global, well, kind of global, I guess, but that community game we got going over on the Discord. But if you're not of the tier to play, you can still read all of it for free. You don't have to worry about it being like something you can't even keep up on. Y'all, yeah, if, you like, if, you like, yes, if you like the idea of an SOS novel, you should go read the freaking SOS. community. Y'all, there's some great role play over there. It's I've, good stuff. I've, I've always thought about SOS, and I don't know if I'd want to do it as a novel so much as I'd love to do it as like a limited drama series on like HBO or something. Oh yeah, it deserves like an like... HBO bu budget. Uh, R yeah, rating. give me like a game, of, like Game of Thrones. Yeah. Like I thought it was like my first episode. I don't think I'd even reveal they were vampires until the very end. It'd just be this weird like corporate <gasps> assassination drama. We just got the of bar filled. <laughs> I just saw what we got. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was real fast. That okay, was real well, fast. Thank, thank you, everybody. For thank you for filling the side of bar. Yay, thank you. Free? Do it again, cowards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it again, dare cowards. You. Do it ten thousand dollars. You never do it. And Saito just becomes the main character. <laughs> I would sign up for what that. We, yeah. What we didn't realize is <laughs> he's actually world, the protagonist. He's the main yeah, he's actually the protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, is there anything else that I missed? Um, you know, if, if I missed any links, you can just go to our Twitter at Pod by Night. There's a link tree. You can kind of just see everything there. They did fill it twice. Yeah, they filled it. They filled it twice. 
Do it again, cowards. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it works. All oh right, my can gosh. You say, Josh, are you awake? Oh, you my awake? God. He, Two Saito bars? Probably. Uh, I don't know. We didn't, we didn't prep him for today. Yeah, I don't think he's, I don't no, think he's, he's ready for today. <laughs> this okay. poor man. I'm sorry. Y'all are going to just have to accept his beautiful face in the, uh, no, the don't trailer you worry. today. <laughs> don't you worry. Two, See, two. this is all your fault. Don't you worry. Yeah, whatever's about to happen. Maybe you not. Maybe we won't be assaulting a particular uh, group of uh, I mean, Inquisition today. We as were you talking. Get sidetracked. We were talking about some updates and things. I think it's still important to note that despite Josh not actually being here in a media cast, Josh just took a big, big job change himself. Mm. If you guys didn't yeah, know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, big boy. I did, I to say anything. Elaborate. Feel free. He is uh, now the community manager for uh, Chinese Room, who are the developers for Bloodlines 2. Yeah. Which yeah. is amazing. So he's yep. in the world of vampire, continuing in the world of vampire. <laughs> Congratulations, Josh. Yeah. Well earned, well deserved. That's right. Uh, dude works his butt off and loves vampire just so to much. like, yeah. I didn't think of a better so, person, so no, to be honest. Me either. Yeah, no, nobody. He's, uh, I I'm excited to see, I'm so excited. It was nice to see Bloodlines 2 trailer as well. Yeah. With some in-game footage and stuff. The game is still alive and looking very well. Uh, I'm like, so, I was, I, Bloodline 1s is like top three RPGs of all time for me. Easy. Like, I don't know if you, if you guys all played it, I hope oh, you have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you haven't, yeah. got it. It's still holds it's up. It's so good. <laughs> it's, it holds up. It's just the last two hours oh, yeah. are clearly you a little I, rushed. You have to put. I put God. You have to put God mode on your cheats on at the end because it's yeah, so hard to get through. Especially if you build a social character. That <laughs> yeah, last, like a Toriador. Like, no, you have yeah. to fight everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, it's a great game. All right. Uh, is that it? Is that it? Are we good? I think so. I mean, we, yeah, we, we have just talked our butts off, Mathis. Let's do this. All right. <laughs> well, then, without further ado, let's set the scene, rein things in, and see what our coterie has been up to. It's the sound of rushing wind that greets our ears. Contrary to the sounds of a busy street, talking mortals and cars running by, as our vision fades in to match that of our ears, we see a skyline view of Chicago, the streets and the buildings rippling by as we move at a rapid pace. Little clouds decorate the sky, barely covering a mostly full moon on this evening, as the cool air reminds everybody that falls around the corner. As our camera continues to pull back, that clear and cool night sky with Chicago underneath reveals to us rippling feathers, thick feathers on large wings. <clears throat> and the further we pull back, the more we see a large bird of prey. It looks for a moment as though it's circling an area, though our own mortal eyes this high is hard to tell what exactly it seems to be looking at. But soon, it seems to move and change direction, and with a dart, it dips down, picking up speed before whipping open its wings again, catching that momentum and gliding well beyond our view as we linger in the same spot in the sky. As the camera moves to the moon, our vision goes white. And as our focus comes back, we can hear, instead of that rippling wind, the rushing city streets of Chicago on a busy night, the talking of mortals, both drunk and sober, the sounds of people arguing in buildings and the sounds of somebody pissing in a corner against a brick building as our, our vision comes to. And just as we kind of see a clear sight of this busy street, we dip into a nearby alley and the sounds of a thud, though whatever hits the ground is still out of view, greets us. A figure stands and we see just their back shoulders for a moment as the remnants of two or three feathers fall from their back and fall out of camera view. Their bare back showing a large tattoo sprawling from the center of their spine outwards to their shoulders. Gorgeous feathered wings. But we only catch a glimpse of that before the figure starts moving forward with heavy footsteps and long red dreads sprouting from their head and moving to their back to cover the rest of the tattoo that isn't covered by clothes. And as we pull back even further, we watch Miss Dakota Rain walk to the back door of the Lights Out pub and open it with a creak. As you hear that creak, our vision rushes <laughs> past Dakota and into the back room as always. And we can hear the busy bar, plates and, and uh, glasses, giant bar beer bottles being handed off and drinks being passed out by many of Ava's nameless mooks who fill the appropriate positions here in the Lights Out pub as needed. 
Grant is working the burger station, flipping about four or five different burgers. Well, Ollie with his, uh, I imagine his um, apron fully tied on, helping as best he can. And Ava leaning up against the wall, watching and enjoying the sights and those she's hired, perhaps coming and asking for instruction every so often. Dakota, it's a scene you're familiar with. And of course, Ollie and Ava, you would hear the back door open with the heavy thudded boot steps of Miss Dakota Rain entering for the evening. Your night was fruitful. <clears throat> Everything you expected to find was there. They're not overly protected or overly guarded. They're operating as though... Uh, I guess the word I'm looking for is they, they operate as though they are fully unaware of your intentions. No one has seemed to fed them information. And they're not on high guard, as one might expect if they were. Okay. Well, <clears throat> if it's bumping in here, I can't, like, just come in and start shouting. Dakota has learned some manners over the years. Um... <laughs> including the downfalls to drawing attention. So, um, is she, uh, Ollie's in the kitchen with Grant and Ava's out front. Ava's in the back, uh, oh, watching the back. through the window, through the service window, kind of watching things. Um, Unless Ava wants to be out front. My apologies. I just had her in my I mind. I would be in watching in the back. Yeah. So, I, I guess, okay, you know what? No, after everything that went down last season, I look for Ava because we never know when Ava's gonna fucking disappear. It's it's just a true statement. Uh, she could just not show up when nobody... that. Excuse that's, me. That's really the 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 key the last... factor. And, and the... let's be let's also be uh so people are aware. Um, between last session and this one, even though we had a big many months break, it's been twenty four to forty eight hours <laughs> yeah. in game. Yeah. So you know she <laughs> saw her sire. We as viewers don't know mm -hmm. what happened between then and now, but clearly. Something D uh, Dakota picked up on something. And thanks to your Saito bar, all you people at home. All two. The third time. The third. third? Means three. We got another one. Oh my god, we just did a third one. Uh, okay. You guys are gonna fund my vacation, personally. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, okay, I would just have to keep threatening you. Your Saito bars assured that Sybil got a conversation. Sorry, the sandwich got a conversation with Ava, in which she was like. The time is coming. It's almost time. Yeah, Are you yeah. Ready, Ava? And when <laughs> Ava shared Ava that with Dakota on their walk yeah. before they were threatened by um, a lupine, um, to go pick up crime scene photos. Oh, and to pin the. Uh, okay, yeah, that's a whole thing. Uh, Hannah, werewolves. Oh, another time. The fact yeah, of the matter is, that's a whole other. The the fact of the matter is, Ava was like Sybil was like, it's almost time. That and could mean, and that could mean anything from next week to next ten precisely. years. Precisely. So, Methuselah. so full circle. Dakota now comes in every night, checking to make sure Ava is fucking there. Yeah. So maybe, and, and I, I imagine walking through the back door. There's a while we may not see it visibly on Dakota. There's an internal relief every time you lay eyes Aww. on Ava. And Aww. there she is, standing in her long red dress this evening, long black yes, dress. How's she feeling? I think red. If red I could tonight, sigh, there would spicy. be a sigh of relief as I just see mm. you sitting there, perfectly fine, watching these two men cook burgers. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you hear Grant kind of just grumbling over to Ollie occasionally, you know, uh, making sure, oh, goddamn, a burger was overcooked. And uh, he's quickly handing things out. It's It's one of the nights where he doesn't notice you enter through the back door. At uh, the point that you enter Dakota. We imagine it's closer to like 10 or 11 with what you've been doing tonight. I pull up and sat on next to Ava and copy um, her like watching stance in a little bit mm -hmm. of a mocking style. And I, I lean mm -hmm. over and I say, do you think I should let him know I'm here or? Maybe give him a little surprise. And then I just sit there in a mocking stance watching... <laughs> Watching, that there watching in the them with mirror, Ava, yeah. mirroring Ava's position, mm -hmm. uh, which mm -hmm. what? How is Ava standing? Is, is she like a leg up or like kind of like standing with like a leg behind another one? He's Paint leaning. me an image. Leaning that Dakota forward. Has to, has to yeah, like mimic. it is a very. Um, uh, it is a stance. That she kind of is being a bit more playful uh, and leaning forward. Um, she has her hands kind of like how I have them. She's laying them, her two uh, elbows on the the window, um, looking in with her uh, face resting in her hands as Dakota. So walks you're up. actually like you're kind of up next to the the grill, 
um mm -hmm. at, mm -hmm. a little off to the side and uh yeah you're, you're like gazing out into the busy mm -hmm. bar and yes dakota it's something it's just so second nature at this point but even gazing out through the window the amount of people whose eyes consistently look up and peer over at ava every so often I is bet, countless. i bet my eyelashes <laughs> <laughs> you you have to get a little more of the uh of the the bat into it you look like you got sand in your eye <sighs> no, it's more natural, Dakota. You have to be more natural and just have your eyes just look it's up like a little a bit. Like I... <laughs> and you watch as, as Dakota's <laughs> eyes roll on the back of her head like she's like <laughs> having some weird possession problem right now. <laughs> Instead of like blinking, she's got like the half blinks going or she's yeah. just like she's like spazzing <laughs> how, how out. How do I look? <laughs> uh, you look like you need to be in the movie The Exorcist. Hey, Ollie. Hey, uh, what's up, kid? <laughs> Batting my eyelashes <laughs> in this weird way at you. Ava just lets it happen. <laughs> you got some in your eye. That's what I said. Sorry, Grant's fucking shit up back here, man. Yeah, he's he's burning burgers. You, I... you got a thumbprint that da so they don't they don't bloat, and you have to olive oil a pan. Uh, this what is the regular hell language shit. Are you talking about? I squish it. Is it me? Is it? Listen, we don't serve things rare, medium rare, medium medium. Well, you're right. You serve it as hockey puck. Pink. You serve it as hockey puck or mooing. I get no, it. You have no, one of two just, ways. Oh my god! Is there, what do you get? Fucking something crawl up your Dakota. ass the past twenty four hours? Jesus yeah, fucking yeah, Christ! Ava. Watch this. Grant. Yes, beautiful. And he immediately whips over and looks over to you. Could you get me a glass of wine and Dakota a uh, beer label to peel, please? Are you, uh, and I bat my eyelashes. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and make Thank me you. Um, yes. uh, Grant says, wait, I have to unfuck everything he just did. <laughs> you, yes. You're getting him away uh, mm -hmm. for him. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a manipulation persuasion check, please. Ma oh, and you're okay, yes. you're like beautiful or whatever it is, whatever your your. Oh uh, yes, my advantage. Are. Yes. Yeah, don't forget about your advantage. Uh, beautiful. I get plus two or two additional yep, dice two, two, here. Yep. Uh, so manipulation. We said that uh, persu uh manipulation persuasion. Persuasion, yeah. and I get to add two to this. Okay. Let's it's gonna be go. an enormous dice pool, I imagine. It <laughs> is, but with you just rolled two oh, successes. That's okay. oh, it's man, because I'm also batting my eyelash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> to yeah. Next yeah. to me, yeah. Uh, he, but two successes is still two successes, and he immediately uh, plops down the spatula. If I'm fucking things up so bad that you take care of it, and he slaps Got it. like Ollie Get the on the fuck out of my kitchen. And he's like, whatever you need. And uh, what is it that you just asked for? Like wine and wine a and a beer uh, for Dakota to peel the label, please. He, 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 he doesn't even look back. He just kind of throws his hand in the air in a, in a recognizing way, swings open the kitchen door and you see him dip down behind the bar. You hear some bottles shuffle. So I, I look at I look at Ava and I go, I talk to him. Uh, and I point, uh, I point at Ollie. <laughs> Oh, talk about, or, or, is there something we we're supposed to talk about? Or I, I point to him. How grumpy do you look? Ollie? Yeah. Um, he was, well, when Grant left, it noticeably lifted. Okay. <laughs> so you're not grumpily cooking burgers. No, he's, okay. this is like, it's, it's as zen <laughs> as it gets for him because he's not thinking about the fucked up world. He's thinking about proper, like properly, you know, blanching vegetables <laughs> and, and braising patties, that kind of thing. It's easy. So I may have uh, scouted the <clears throat> location of the hunter set just <clears throat> tonight before I came over. Do you want to talk about that, Ollie, or should I leave you in the burgers to some privacy? Uh, no, no. You know what? We can we can do some trade secrets here. Come come here. T tell me about it. I I'll I'll walk you through some things. Trade for trade, tit for tat. Tell me what you found. When the kitchen door swings open. All right, I got the bottle of the finest red we have, as always. And he get handed over to. Uh, Ava, and he goes, and a giant, one of them Coors oh, Light yeah. bottles with a huge <laughs> label, and he just hands you one of those, like, extra 40, large 45. bottles. Yeah, yeah, like a yeah, tall yeah, boy yeah. or whatever, yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, it's big label. Okay, and uh, uh, now I can't pill my label and cook, Ollie. Uh, well, the great news is I'll do the cooking. You just oh. tell me what's going on, and oh. I'll share you some of my trade secrets. Okay, great. Uh, I guess I'm just going to stay out of the way. And... No, no, no. You need to be here, and you need to listen, because you're fucking shit up. This is real easy. I'm not really fucking easy. shit up. You're just in my space. This is my space. Yeah, well, I still, last I checked, I still own this place, so you get to listen a little bit. All matter of time, I'll buy you out one day. Uh, 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 I swear to God, I will suplex you into concrete. Okay. And then you have to turn me into whatever you are, so feel free. Okay. The fact of the matter is... <laughs> 
I could karate chop you both in the throat, but I don't have to flex that to make my point. I might welcome it. Okay, well, uh, before that has to happen, maybe, Ollie, I think you need to do, why don't we step away and have a private coterie meeting? Sorry, Grant. Oh, no, not Ollie out of my kitchen. Get the fuck out of here. He grabs the fucking spatula out of your hands. You can can teach me all about how to cook burgers later. We have literal eternity. All right. Well, he doesn't. And I he's could. Clearly... I could. Oh, well, then go. doesn't he deserve we want to talk about at least this right one now? more fucking burger? It's too early in the night to talk about this. And besides, as long mm. as I'm sipping at your nipple, I'll be fucking immortal anyway. Can you never say that series of words to me <laughs> ever again? I Is that how you do it? So many. <laughs> oh, we keep it secret. Don't you ask questions you don't want answers to. Questions. Questions. Okay. Uh, well, uh, now that I've learned too much, and we've talked about burgers all in the same sentence, uh, well, let's private booth. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You see Ollie haphazardly untie the top of his apron as it falls down as it always does, but I, he keeps it I turn tied around, around the center. And I fucking smack Grant upside the head as everybody's like leaving, and I'm just like, fucking suck his nipples. Like, fuck. Ah, what the fuck? What the fuck was that for? Why the fuck are you talking about Ollie's nipples, you fucking dingus? It was a figure of speech, no, one of the metaphors. No, I drink no... his fucking. Did you get jealous? Grant, Grant if you I got look, them big Grant, fucking pepperoni Grant, sausage Grant. nips. I don't know if you ever seen them. Grant. Oh, Grant. Grant. Uh, if I told you to suck my nipple, is there anything not literal about that statement? If you ask there's me no metaphor. That, I, Do you know what the de- okay? Read a book, figure out the term of metaphor, and realize that sucking Ollie's nipples and talking about it in the kitchen while you fry up a hockey puck or whatever the fuck he called it, it's it's maybe um what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, inappropriate. Okay, Grandma. Sorry, I offended your delicate sensibilities. You did not. <laughs> I won't talk oh, about sucking my boss's so nipples again. But if you invite me to suck your nipples, which I think is what you just did, <laughs> I'm not sure how I would respond because uh, I feel like it might be a trap. Also, look up the term. Get a clue. Okay, it's meeting time. Bye. Mm-hmm. Sorry, VIPs only. Private booth, not part of the coterie. Bye, Grant. He he just looks a little confused, and then the smell of a burning burger catches him as his attention before he's like, oh, God damn it. And he goes back to flipping burgers while you step out of the kitchen is it and just... head over to your private booth. Ollie, is it something about your blood? Has he only got more obnoxious over the years? I think he has, honestly. No, it, it has nothing to do with my blood. It has everything to do with the fact that he's constantly horned up, and the one thing that he wants, he can't have. And he aims right at Ava. Just, can we, can we like, do a... a... Our bachelor parties when you get strippers and stuff. Let's just get him like a, like pay someone who does this for a living to to really have, fix him up, help him out, solve his problems. I don't know if that's gonna solve his problems. To be oh, honest, something's got to. And Ava, mm. I hate to, I, I've never. You might have to bite the bullet. I swear <laughs> to God, if he ever <clears throat> brings up all his nipples again, I have considered it just to you know. Did he say something else? This ain't the first fuck? time. I fuck for can't, can't, <laughs> can't, um, in the confines of this booth, I learned more about... What did he say about my nipples? You've seen my nipples. You know the truth. <laughs> I think we all have. Um, you have. We went yes. to the tattoo place and... We yes. okay, okay, so naked I got mostly cat. naked. That's but right. Like, That's right. Look, yeah. at Coterie, we've seen a lot of things about each other. He and has. It's fine. Some, I'm going to slap him. He has some particular feelings about the size of your nipples. <laughs> I could cut him and not feel bad. Just think, though, then you're not going to have anybody to yell at. That's basically all you pay him for. Well, I didn't say I was going to kill him. I was just going to cut him. You know, like I... Mm-hmm. But then he's going to bleed on your burgers. God oh, damn it. You're right. Maybe they'll actually have some value of flavor. I can cook them down to basically char. Okay, let's talk business. I can't talk about Grant anymore. I'm going to eat him. Okay, so... That's the twist of the episode. It's four hours of talking about Grant. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome four back, everybody. I took it upon myself to go around and take a little bit of a peep at the uh, warehouse, the factory, whatever the hell it is. Just a... <clears throat> okay. Scope and... the sitch, and it seems that they have no idea we're coming. They haven't moved anything. They haven't evacuated. Uh, they haven't fortified, built any kind of um, weapons, from what I can tell. They, they seem to be going about day-to-day activity. They are none the wiser as is coming. How many buildings did I confirm, Mathis? Three buildings. Three buildings. How I many... set up in a U-shape. 
like mostly it's like two warehouses and in the center a smaller yep. what you consider like an office building maybe where people keep yeah their okay things. um yeah. did i, I count I can... a certain amount of people like outside of uh guard you, you would have oh you know what make me your uh wits awareness oh yeah uh wits investigate would also be appropriate because you spent some time here this, um i believe i'm guessing i did this in a different form so i can roll yeah that yeah, yeah yeah this is for your uh your new your new stuff so i take this plus my okay. also bear with us as we got to get re-familiar with these character sheets again it's been uh -huh. a while uh... <clears throat> that's a big number i've never ever done that yeah before. that's a it should be a very big number <laughs> yeah uh, one, oh wow two three at least three successes one, yeah, count three. Um, three. I don't know why it's only showing two on the dice, which is really weird. But yeah, you had ten and nine and a seven. Um, yeah. Did you want to re-roll any more? Uh, those are you good with the three. I this is important. Like I don't want us to go die, and I'm full up on willpower yeah. right now. Uh, since I yeah, finally yeah. healed from <laughs> the, the uh, lupine attack, damage. we're not going to talk about today. Yeah. Um, I will. I'm going to roll. I should. I my hunger is at two, so the last two would be my hunger dice. So I should be able to roll three. Yeah, what's uh, everybody's got, hunger at? I got one more. One. Four is two, three, still four. good because yeah. a four four successes is is a very hard. Like five is exceptional. Yeah. Um. So with you, by your count, having spent the time you did, uh, taking the time to really observe and count the people coming in and out of the buildings, you counted a total of eleven. Of eleven people. Okay. Eleven people. Mm -hmm. So smarts would say that they probably have more than that that may not have exited the building but 11 is a good number to start so i yeah I'll report i mean out. i imagine i imagine dakota spent a good chunk of time watching and like watching people come in and out of buildings how yeah. long would you have spent like a couple of hours i imagine yeah the earlier part of tonight yeah you're Cause... pretty confident well well yeah you're you're dot i'll say for sure it may not be the exact number 11 is extremely that's, that's close what, yeah, dakota would the, assume yeah. she would make smart yeah. assumptions so yeah um okay so you should set up two main buildings, office building, 11 plus people, let's be real, that I noted, but no heavy security. Any security guards out front, Mathis? Uh, n n yes, there's security guards out front, but like you said, not heavy security. There okay. was a total of two people standing guard at any given time. Um, A question I have for you as a storyteller that I never really thought about. Was there any, after the assault, did, was there, did we ever have conversations about if the government would retaliate was that a conversation the code we had with each other uh like wiping them out will likely cause attention uh, i just yes. don't remember yeah if we we we, yeah. Okay. we had a it was a brief conversation ollie had posited that we make this not look like a vampire attack we, yes we wanted to make it look like a werewolf attack so how do we do that ollie well and we I, don't drink I, any of their blood that's a big thing. Yeah. If, we, if they have a distinct lack of blood, it's going to be pretty obvious. We make it messy. Large swipes. Feral. Big brazen attacks. <clears throat> All right. It's got to look like animal attack, not like vampires. Don't you think I hunters think... would know the difference? Some of them might. Some of them might be good at figuring that out. Ollie, you know the sewers better than anybody. What runs under that location? Oh, go ahead and give me a uh, uh, in wit streetwise. Sure. Or intelligent streetwise, whatever's better for you. Yeah, let's take a look here. What do I have? I got decent streetwise. Yeah. And yeah, have. that's that's not bad. That's yeah, not bad for me. Cool. Yeah. Um, three successes. Three successes. Uh, yeah. Uh, what sits under that particular area is just um. I don't know if cistern's really the right word for it. Um, but there's like a large hollow like block of of uh space underneath the uh the main office building, and then it's just your typical pipelines and tunnels, nothing special. I mean nothing crazy. It's it's what's pretty typical. I mean, warehouse district, you gotta have large runoff, right? Like it's it's flatland they have to. So substantially um free flowing area for water movement in case it's flooding. It was still right off the lake, so we do risk being in a floodplain. Can we close off that drain and flood them out of the building? 
we'd have to have we'd have to have water we'd have to have f flowing water mm -hmm. and that's good that's a substantial amount of time to to flood three buildings worth no more explosions you know to really set up for the lupine we ought to use guns i think we had p potentially suggested just doing it the old-fashioned way and just shooting them using weapons and I'm things not really and great with a gun i'll be honest neither am i neither am i look the the lead up was unfortunate but it was really courtesy of hannah hannah's actions left a big swath of damage across the city and they know that that's not us right so because of that if they're already looking for Lupine, and we can look out for Hannah, the Lupine already gathered. Unfortunately, that uh, that big boy that got free from Snitch, uh, he's kind of rallying them all together, right? There... That's been your understanding. What we need is a fall guy, and not the Lupine. You're right, the cops are going to come. There might be an investigation. More hunters will come. But they are going to su suspect kindred no matter what the question is which kindred i think we wanted la sombra though we could make it the club rose's club somehow pin it on them did you put something in rose's club we we, we technically the already werewolf did. The yeah the you're kind of like a time Hannah's bomb on teeth. that thing right now yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. just a little bit more less backup, smelly than like could, a heart or anything but you know it's this, still yeah this whole thing all right let's think about rose's place she uses heavy security that security company is either other kindred, um, but they all use these key cards and things of that nature. Can we plant something on site? Like, um, make it look like her security came through. I mean, maybe. Well, these yeah. guys are, they're equipped, right? They, they kind of know what they're doing. Even with the young bucks, they're equipped. They have some combat savvy. If we're going to go with Emmy's goons, a little goon squad, they're not like us. They're not kindred. If they get popped, they're just gonna look like gang members. Leave them even if they're, now. even if they're dressed a bit better, right? Because some of them kind of have been, but some of them also sort of look like little hitters here off the street. So, hey, Mathis, that shitty Irish guy that was fighting dogs. Yeah. Do I know what gang? Oh he's God, a part what, what, of? we we wrote we had a name for him too. I feel like I might have oh, it down. Let me pull shit. up our sheet. I'll pull up our sheet, but t tell me, um. D did he does he have like, a does he have a gang he's like actually a part of? Uh, you would need to do some time investigating him to find out. Okay, um, so I don't know off because you got you got the name of that guy. You were looking you were looking for the dog fight place who was running the dog fights and you got all that. But I was as just far saying, as we like, need a gang to to pin yeah, this yeah, on. Yeah. You know, uh, mm -hmm. was there ever? Correct me if I'm wrong, but was there ever conversation about leading those hunters to attack Rose's club? We, yeah, we had talked about that. And they didn't we say rolled. yes or no. Yeah, they never took like action on it. Ollie yeah, they never rolled. they never gave you an answer. I don't think. No, Although they've they're... remember like Ollie spotted them going in and out. That's oh no, so they back. are watching. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, yes. He yes. followed them back to that that little car place where they were like basically. So you know that they are cars. at least scouting the club based yeah. on the information you gave them. Whether that's going to lead to an attack, you don't know, but it's it's possible. And if that ends up happening. And then you get the loot. Like, I feel like we've had this conversation, so I'm not trying to put ideas in your head. I'm trying not to. I'm trying the to bring back like, ideas we, we It feels about. like we need to wait, right? Because if they're going to attack and the Lupine are going to attack, need... it could be a ticking time bomb, and we don't have to do anything. Yeah, if you basically you have the option to assault on your own and make it look like um, a mob hit or try to make it look like a werewolf hit, um, or you can wait and see what happens first, um, whether they get hit themselves, uh, whether Rose's Club gets hit by them or werewolves. Whether the hunters hit Rose's club, they could wipe each other out. They could, but it also could cause problems. You know, there's a bunch of different ways you can handle this, and all of them have different, varying different outcomes. The fact of the matter is, we shouldn't make first contact. We can't draw first blood. Our option to draw blood needs to be secondary. at least not openly, yeah, in a way that they know it's you. Hey, what if we? Uh, this is more of a Toriador movement here. So help me, because I'm trying to. Trying to do some Sun Tzu shit. What do we extend a rose branch, you know, an olive branch here to uh, to the Toreador that is Rose? She's oh, La Sombra. She's Sombra. Oh, Sadly, whatever she is, she's dead to me. Yeah, extend an olive branch as in like we form a truce with her. 
Well, what if we... Look, we we went... I, I went to... Um, I went to the Hunters. I rolled on Rose. What if I go to Rose? And I tell her that the Hunters are about to make an attack on her. And we get her out. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. Mm. If we can get her out and moving from the club, that's when we can hit her. We'll be a third interested we... party and we can move on Rose and clear out both threats at the same time. Two birds, one stone. I don't think she's going to go for it. She doesn't trust any of us. I think she's got, that's a thing. I think she has information and she has cameras and I can point people out on a camera. I was there. I saw him coming and going. I mean, we still it still depends on whether or not Rose says yes. And even then, it's risky. I mean, she's going to know we're trying to put a hit out on her the moment we take her somewhere by herself. Because that's what I would do. I don't... I, my intention is to not say anything that's going to lead to that. I'm just going to let her know that there's been a threat on my life. There's been a threat on your lives. And I've been watching them. And I've been seeing them move in and out of a club. That's all I'm going to say. And if she asks if I know where they're at, maybe I hint that I followed them and I know where they're at. There's also yeah. a political angle of it where you could save her without any nefarious intent and technically pay back the boon. If That's right. Uh, but then what you do with her. Yeah. After. I don't know like if you guys try to talk to her. I don't know. There's options. You have like a bajillion know. ways you could do this. You could let me handle it. I ain't I afraid know. of her. I'm not, no, I'm of not course. afraid of her either. I just like fucking with her. I'm not talking to her. Okay. Um, so. I mean, it's a long shot. I still think the moment we show up back at her place, we're seen again before a potential attack. And it's, uh, it's risky. Well, I mean, the kindred aren't exactly uh, quick to act, but humans are, right? We know that. Yes. We're very well aware. So what's well, a little, you know, elbow touching some favor tit for tat in that situation? I, I, I don't usually trade in tit for tat, but you're really good at it, Ollie. So, like, do your thing. Okay. I, uh, I like to do that. I mean, as long as if you think it's if you think it's a bad plan, if you think it's a bad play, just say I want to hear it out. It, I think it makes us. um we are, you will be seen on site at her place. And hell, you could be there when they attack. We have literally set a bomb to go off at any point. What a better time for them to attack than with me there and look like a friend to Kindred. Right. Here's also the thing. Um, well, I should probably make this a, uh, aware. While she does have camera and security, it's not nearly, the camera presence is not nearly as heavy as one might expect because as a Lissambra, she accidentally breaks technology whether she wants them to or not so a lot of her uh security is m are much more old school a lot more people than cameras but there's mm -hmm. still a couple cameras in some key places front door stuff where she's less likely to go to interact um, with yeah but yeah like on the upstairs room uh ava would know like beyond maybe one camera in the hallway there was like no cameras in the in the rooms none of that stuff because mm -hmm. again Little Sombra, they have a chance of like That's why she breaking has so much tech. security on site. Too. Mm -hmm. I don't. This trust is just her. my biggest concern, right? My biggest concern is this. I don't trust her, even if she buys and what says I don't she trust doesn't, her. doesn't no. doesn't double cross us, fuck us over, set us it up. Well, sure. Three. I've already dealt with her. I told her to fuck off. I played politics. I did exactly the kind of shit she does, and I outsmarted her. And right now, Ava doesn't owe her anything but the original boon, which she hasn't actually given good reason to cast like cash in on. You're right. You're right. And she, she has every reason, she has absolutely every reason to be worried about both of you. But because of my reputation, and we know exactly how important reputations are, specifically to Kindred, she might be willing to at least hear me out. And the reason that I mention this is just this one point. I don't know how much longer we're going to be able to keep McTavish on real. The guy is a loose fucking bomb, all right? He is, he's going to pop off whether we want to or not. Don't worry about McTavish. I have thoughts he, he came he came, has he i have forced him to come to the gather one okay and two mctavish is a really simple guy he likes things that go boom 
And the only thing he seems to really care about, really care about, is a little girl that follows him around. All right. If she I hear you. Is I'm going to trust you with that. In danger. He'll do whatever he has to to assure that's not the case. I'd still like to try to exhaust the angle. I want to see what it looks like. You go follow up with Rose, and I wish you all the luck, Ollie. Just don't be caught on sight if the bomb goes off. That's not the plan. I usually cover my ass pretty well. Just don't be seen. Yeah, good luck. I, I have a bad feeling about it, but maybe it'll work. When is there never a bad feeling, it's right? It's true. It's constantly looming. It's true. Yeah. And so the plan is to head there now? I would like to, yeah. Yeah. So we watch Ollie untie the rest of his apron, head back inside, and put on clean clothes that don't smell like grease, yeah. and uh, kind of prepare himself to head out for the night. does not take very long. Um, how do you get there? Are you going to, I mean, it's a long walk. Uh, do, you, do you have somebody drive you? Do you drive yourself? Um... I think I will. I'll, I'll have someone drive me. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. I'm not going to have him make a driving check then. Uh, it would leave Dakota and Ava alone. Uh, as we watch uh, Ollie step into a car and the car rolls off, maybe saying good luck and goodbye, um, <clears throat> leaves Ava and Dakota alone. Is there any conversation the two of you would like to have as the two of you are probably standing near the back door as Ollie leaves for his evening uh, rendezvous? I think we should um... blame it on a bunch of gangsters. I, yes. I don't know how to do that yet, but, uh, you know, but Ollie, he seems to talk his way in and out of situations all the time, so who knows? Maybe this he can get away with it, but, um... And, you know what? If she doesn't, if she doesn't buy it, then I, it's really no loss on our ends, because yeah, it we'll is. still and go she's, through with... She knows something's up, and she's gonna come snooping in our business. She's gonna know. We've set her up to not know she's gonna be attacked, and she's gonna know when we come knocking at the door, she's gonna know. She's gonna know... Yeah. Yeah. She may be catty, but she's not stupid. No, she's very smart, and that's the unfortunate thing, is that she's not stupid. So, that's... I, I am concerned she might see through, right through the, all of this. But you know what? If she sees through it, we just kill her. We we just we're gonna have to just move quickly. And we've already her. we've already tried to do that one and two. We've already set up for that. This is hopefully either the lupine or the fucking hunters. I mean, yeah, I, I, somebody I, I, just kill her. All right, Ava, you're a also caddy on the occasion. I think outside the box here with me. Okay? You know, on the rare time uh, you end up being caddy. Yeah, it's very. It's like once think, a season. How think outside how, the box. how do how would you pin this attack on these hunters on her? How do we make it look like it is the La Sombra, it is Rose? I'm not sure how how astute the hunters are. Do they do they know things about us, Kindred? Well, do when we clear know? out a whole sect of them, the next one here's, up's gonna come a knocking. Here's what I'll I'll say as far as you are all aware. The government agencies seem to know a lot when they 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 uh the stories you've heard of them striking at kindred involve them cutting off their finances like moving into areas that they know that they uh peruse at night they seem to know a lot and they are well informed as to how they're being so well informed what's keeping them well informed no one really knows because that would require capturing one and interrogating That's the one. thing so I had another why crazy why idea. would they want to attack why would a la sombra bar doing well off in one part of the city want to attack this other part it doesn't it doesn't make sense and if they're what if smart we made it look like an accident what if we killed them all in a single accident in an accident yeah all the only says, accidents I know is us. A lot of Chicago's the land of explosions. <laughs> we're trying to that's we're trying to minimize that's that. That's the only accident <laughs> I know of. Okay, explosions aren't accidents. Or Chicago's yes, the land you, of ground you going or you clogging all of their plumbing. Okay, Those are the only as accidents funny I as know. That of. Is, yes, that <laughs> I considered flooding them out, but but yes, I know. What if we <laughs> wash them down the drain? What do we know about Chicago? It's a city built on an older city. A river uh, and, and... And and a ruin a underneath lake. it. What if an 
accidental sinkhole swallowed the entire site whole. All he says underneath it is a cistern, which means it's already hollow to some degree. Okay. If we were smart about maybe we replaced some explosives, we might be able to get away with a collapse. And even if they proved later on it was done with explosives, it would take them weeks to dig it out. It's not the most unheard of thing. No, when it, Dakota and Ava get together, plans <laughs> involving explosions. <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> Ollie literally just left. I know, that's what I was thinking. Like, Ollie stepped away and she's like, okay, bombs. What about bombs? Can we bomb something? I want to bomb something. Wait, I, swear, I, I did not say bomb it. Bombing is different than Explosive. carefully placed demolition. <laughs> this is a demolition. Uh -huh. There'll be no fire, right? Because it's just exploding concrete. I say. Chicago is also known for. <laughs> you know uh fire, is like... fire, yeah. <laughs> um so that could also be an option um i'm just saying I, I... mctavish loves explosives i'm sure he could and his little ghoul could work up uh, uh the right explosives put them in the right place if ollie leads them down underneath it and we set a timer and we i know their pattern of walking in and out of the buildings and we just wait till they're all in there and we, we fucking blow the entire all three buildings <coughs> underneath them up make a, a massive yeah. hole i still think that would be a very freak thing that would probably have a lot of people questioning what happened probably uh, and the but news it don't take them weeks for them to come by yeah and then to, like figure uh, it out you know put that one on the shelf and it is uh you know a couple of pegs down but it is an option let it, let's, let it season for a let's bit. Let's see. Yeah, we'll let it cook. And like, <laughs> let's see how things go with Ollie and Rose and the Hunters and the Lupine and see how that little thing Madness. pans out. These warehouses, did they carry like stock? Did they Were they bringing in like large truckloads of things? Did they have... Um... When you were watching them today, uh, you didn't see any truckloads or anything arrive today, but they are well equipped. I guess uh, I'm trying to see if there's another way in. If we were to Trojan horse this bitch... What can we ride mm -hmm. in on? Are were the freight tough. coming in? Was do they have like eighteen wheeler, you know, containers? I mean, that's tough. You don't know. Uh, you have never seen any drop offs happening. You know that they're being strictly funded by the government, so their their uh, deliveries are probably highly coordinated and highly protected. Um, but that also means like you don't see a lot come and go. Unlike well, I wouldn't say unlike Layla, but Layla operates more on the streets. Uh, dealing with things more up close and personal. These guys seem, I don't want to say detached, but more uh, objective driven. They don't really leave their place unless they're off to go somewhere and hit something or, or uh, scout something. As young as young and gung ho as they are, they're still All right. trained. Just trying uh, to think as of far other as other options way in. other than getting fucking Rose involved. I hate her. I do too. My look, my my voice my voice in the matter is we just sit back and let see what happens because we've planted enough seeds everywhere I that we should just sit back. Uh and I know that's hard for us. Um we uh, I, it's hard for me. I always want to take action, but I think I think personally we should just sit back and see what happens. Uh and deal with whatever whoever stands after what happens next but look ollie wants to talk to rose maybe something will come out of that if not then we'll have to figure out what the next step is that's I my hate, i hate it I, i'm gonna have you know what you know what helps a nice glass of wine no so i'm gonna have a glass of wine and not worry about it and so she grabs the bottle that grandpa <laughs> over and pours herself a glass yeah, do you pour her Coda a glass no, I, I know she she's not gonna drink it. <laughs> just pour that for yourself. Yeah, I pour two just glasses. Two glasses. <laughs> half heartedly offers it to Dakota, but slides yeah. it back to herself. Yeah. Before Dakota even says no, and as you take mm -hmm. your first sip, we have a hard cut to the front of a very familiar club, the tall, dark bricks, and a long line uh, waiting to get in for the evening. The and as bitch. Ollie steps out of his vehicle that drops him off nearby, he walks up. You actually hear a lot of chatter, Ollie. A lot of excited chatter from the group of people in line kind of waiting to enter the club. 
about a wholly redesigned first floor and how the the new music and uh the new uh, dj stations like state of the art and uh yeah apparently something something happened with their sewers so she took it as an opportunity to kind of redesign the whole floor <laughs> and it's like it looks amazing and people are very excited for it god damn it of course <laughs> she made something good from that this bitch <laughs> insurance man insurance I, scandals this oh, yeah, slimy baby. bitch <laughs> just like you oh well that's a different also, show also mathis but, that is bar <laughs> four for the day Woo, baby four? Oh, yeah. well luckily i already know what we're gonna do for that so don't, luckily don't ollie's walking into a la sombra lair <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you stride up to the front and there's a security guard that is smaller than Ollie is um, by about probably like four or five inches. Uh, you are just far and away a, a much larger individual than pretty much everybody here. And as you stride up to him, he still maintains a relatively stoic gaze. Uh, and he goes, uh, name, and if it's not on here, the line's back that way. I'm going to see your proprietor. Tell that Oliver Hopkins is here. There's a moment where... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. If you're about to say something. Now. Uh, do you intimidate? <laughs> no? Okay. No uh, more than just that what was I a, have. A now was like an intimidation like uh, check. So there's a brief beat in between you saying now and him staring you down um, where he uh, he does take a moment. And um, I, I, I think I'm going to actually ask you to make me an intimidation check to see if he sure. actually complies. You got it. What would you like? Intimidation what? Yeah, manipulation, I imagine. Sure. I can get my, sh my uh, character sheet open. There we go. It's not particularly a great role for me. What's your intimidation? Oh, you still um, have three successes. I got three successes out of yeah, a pool of so, four. Yeah, out of, uh, so he, there's that beat of where he stares for a moment. And then after Ollie moves uh, not an inch, he quickly takes uh, turns his body away from you, reaches up for the earpiece that is very clearly in his ear, and you can hear him say something. There's about 10 seconds of back and forth conversation that unless you are actively attempting to hear what he's saying, is too drowned out by the public and music that's thumping through the front doors. And uh, after about, like I said, 10 or so seconds, he turns around and he just reaches down and moves the zip line little guardrail, pulls it and lets it, and he steps back. Uh, second floor, she's waiting for you. Thank you. You just okay. uh, you step by and you hear grumbling from the uh, the line, of course, and he puts it, uh, locks it back up and you can hear him just kind of tampering down those who are just like, hey, 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 he just showed up. And you just hear him say uh, he's a business meeting with the boss. He's not here for pleasure, blah, blah, blah. And so you step through and whatever conversation was happening is m immediately drowned out by the loud fucking I don't know, would, would Ali take club music as obnoxious? How does Ali feel? No, he was about, a like, part of the club? scene. It yeah, that's true. You were a very much a part of that scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. So familiar uh, music that doesn't often play in obviously the lights out pub any longer. As you walk over to the uh, the stairs on your left hand side, you are greeted with a gorgeous first floor. It's not like she did like demolition and reconstruction. She more took it as an opportunity to modernize the dance floor and modernize the DJ station. Now, instead of the DJ being out front or right on the dance floor, he's actually raised 10 feet off the ground and has this glass bubble around him where he has his own lighting that he can control from the inside. Uh, the the lights rigged up around the first floor are all in beat with the music, and it seems That's to happy. be just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Ava, what? Ava? I'm muting myself. <laughs> uh, I can't. I don't hear you. Uh, as you step over to the glass stairs, the security guards just step out of the way knowingly, and you stride up. Um, once you reach the second floor, there's a secure another one just waiting for you. And he says, Mr. Hopkins, follow me. And I do. Oh, yeah, I'll say unless you uh, decide you want to punch him in the face or something. He turns <laughs> he turns around and begins to walk down the, the row of VIP rooms to the very last one. You watch him bring up his wrist. And as his sleeve pulls up, a little band around it reaches to a scanner. And you hear beep, beep as the lock unlocks. He pushes the door open. And upon uh, the door opening, you see Rose. Alone, no security anywhere. Uh, sat cross-legged, having a glass of a dark red wine. Ollie steps in, I imagine, without hesitation. Yeah. And as the door shuts, Rose takes a moment, but she does stand. I never thought I'd ever see the day where Oscar leaves his trash can. Eh, well, we all grow up eventually. We figure things out, right? And she nods. I imagine you're here to either make something right or to negotiate. 
So if we're going to do things honestly, I'd prefer I'd be talking to the actual you. Would you mind removing your mask? I would mind. I would very much mind. You wouldn't mm -hmm. want that. I take it off for special occasions. You're not special. She gestures. It's a special occasion. You're in my club, and I don't have the Camarilla here to take you away for owing me a boon. You're right. And I might be here to be making right on that. It depends on exactly on how you treat me as your guest. So don't pretend to be somebody you're not. Let me speak to the Nosferatu that strode into my club. You see these eyes. You see the lines on my face. You're seeing that. I'm going to guess that you probably wouldn't want me leaving this mask off while I stride back through your club on the way out, having the information oh. that I have that could potentially save your business. She shakes her head. I'm not looking for you to reveal yourself to the world. Just for you and me in our private room. Our private room. She gestures. Take your time. Feel free to check for bugs or for other security, but if you're at all aware of my <sighs> plan, then you should be aware that technology in ours doesn't play well. Yeah. I'm uh, familiar. Look, I, I didn't, I didn't come here to entertain you. I came here to assist. You take it as entertainment if you wish. I honestly came here to potentially cleanse a problem. Now, I didn't come here to make a problem like you did in my place. And my family would handle this very differently. But I'm very different. So, hear me out before you flex nuts weirdly. I don't like the posturing. Are you familiar with the hunters in the area? There's a moment, a beat of silence, and she just gives a gentle nod while she also half-heartedly sips wine from her glass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know that you've had over a dozen of them walking out of your club the past couple of nights. She takes a minute as the wine sits in her mouth. Her eyes kind of look from left to right. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yeah, you didn't know. Is that what you're here to do then? Save me from the hunters? No, no, I'm, I'm here to cleanse this issue of this boon bullshit that you got circling. I don't know why. How you even think that you have the clout to pull it. But I don't work that way. But I have respect for kindred, regardless of how they compose themselves in private or public manner. And I hate seeing my sisters fall. So let's talk for a second. Such a I concern had, for a Torrid or a clan who maybe dislikes you as much as we do. Why? Mostly because I, I caught on some information that I think would be valuable to you. I don't buy in the clan bullshit. You can call me Oscar the Grouch. You can call me a sewer rat. It's no worse than I call myself on a daily. So who are you really offending here? I would never call you a sewer rat. You're one of the few that don't dwell in them. Neat. Cool story. What I'm here about is the fact that I've had some hunters threaten me. So I used my abilities to allow myself to find one of them. I've been following them after they made a threat on me. And where did I follow them to, Rose? But to your club. Mm. I picked one of them off. They'd mentioned that they were intending to make a hit here. I want this boon gone. Not I want my family it's... freed. Uh, and of course, this is not personal, but if you don't mind my asking, how do I know you're not making up just a pretty story to wipe away a boon? Do you have proof of this? No, I cleared. I cleared that little issue. That person, not walking anymore. But I can tell you where they're at. I can tell you how many there are. And I can tell you that they're well fucking armed. She takes a minute and uh, takes another sip of wine, never truly breaking eye contact with you the entire time. All this to remove the boon for taking something that wasn't hers. Look, I, I purged that little problem that you posed on my doorstep where you fucked with my friend. I took care of that. And you probably didn't think that I could. 
Well, well I believe, believe it or not. I'm surprised. Believe it or not, Rose, I got bigger problems than you. And bygones be bygones. I can wash away this discretion because it didn't last. It was come and gone in 24 hours. Not a problem. But what I have is proof in their existence. You already know they exist. And I know that somewhere, at least according to what I saw on the way out and in your club, you got a camera. And I can point them out to your guys. Because I was here the night that they rolled up 12 deep in this place and walked in slowly. I sat across the street as I followed them in their car. I sat up on top of that roof. Watched them walk in. And I waited. And they partied inside this little place for hours before they finally slew themselves out into the back of a van and dropped off over on 34th and Arlington. And they disposed of their vehicle. A lot of detail for a made-up story, so I'm inclined to believe that there's some truth sprinkled in there at the very least. And your desire is to strike the record, reach out to the harpy, and remove the boon owed for Ava's transgression? Of course, because I got too many other fucking problems. You knocking on my door causing problems for me is just... Well, it's, it's a pest compared to some of the other things that I've got looming over my shoulder. The lupine are pressing in. The hunters are talking about removing me. And that's just one hunter sect. I got eyes on another one that's actually causing real problems. This Hard one. This one that's moved into your place. They're new. They're young. And I think they got a chip on the shoulder and something to prove. Problem with these hunters is they're like a swarm of rats all feeding from different areas. Can't keep track of them all. Well. Mr. Hopkins, you are unfortunately living up to your reputation i'll have my head of security meet you downstairs you can go over the security footage and point out who you remember arriving and i will have somebody confirm the address you've given me in the coming nights if everything checks out i don't see a reason not to i'll reach out to Rhonda, and i'll make sure your little ava is Owing nothing. But there will be a note that will be thanks to her friend, Mr. Hopkins. Good. No thanks is needed. I just appreciate you taking the time to listen. Ollie will stand up. I'll see to your security. You said first floor. He'll be waiting for you. I'll make sure. I appreciate the offer of a drink, even though you didn't. Here, uh, and he opens up his wallet. He'll slap $100 down on the table. Buy yourself some nicer clothes. You're looking a little scrappy these days. She, uh, she takes a moment as she um, <clears throat> looks at the money you put down. You truly like to run the edge of ruining a good deal. You haven't even walked out of my room. I don't have to do anything. And you've already given me all the information I need. You're right. But that... Perhaps Dakota's rubbed off on you a little too much. Rose, that's just the tip of the iceberg. If you can follow through and deal with this problem that's at your doorstep, I have a lot more. And I have the blessing of the council. She shakes her head. A little et etiquette can go a long way, Mr. Hopkins. And she says, actually does put her like index finger on the $100 bill. And she pulls it close to herself and she does uh, like seem like she's going to take possession of it. She's not going to fucking... Sure. Dude, As she says that, me. I'll put my finger to my cheek and it says, says the trash can to the grouch. She uh, smirks, but doesn't seem to, like, stop you from leaving. There's a beep on the door, and you can hear the lock unlock. And the door is free for you to open and leave. Honestly, Rose, in absolute honesty, I really like what you've done with the club. It's beautiful. And I wish you happy and healthy tidings and copious income. She, again, says nothing smiles at you and curtly nods it seems to be done with you i move downstairs and as she says there is a large kind of just uh security guy completely bald as you, you typically expect them to be um and happily or just as happily is the wrong word but with confidence and without any uh kind of pushback brings you to a back room where there's high definition a couple high definition monitors where you start, he'll start scrubbing through the date you, you tell him to. And I imagine you do, unless you're not looking to mislead, uh, you do point out the people who show up. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as he does so, uh, you know, the as she said, in the next few nights, she'll ensure that she uh, goes to that, that address that you gave her and uh, make sure that the the information you gave her is correct. And if that's true, then the boon, if she's not lying, the boon should be removed within a few nights at most. I imagine feeling confident with all that said and done, Ollie would head back to the Lights Out pub. Yeah. Okay. You're not stopped. You're not uh, kind of locked in. You never brought back to her any vague I threats. <clears throat> I, um, I'm going to take this opportunity and hail that cab. And be- actually, before I head back, I want to have the, the cab drop me off a block away from uh from the uh the hunters okay absolutely uh so yeah we watch as ollie kind of walks away and hails a cab and does drive off as the screen fades out and fades in we are in a familiar looking place as our vision is a bit above the skyline of the buildings but we are about a block out is where you get dropped off i uh, you live around here i like the night air i'll be fine i'll kind of tip my driver be on yeah he's like all right. I mean, don't look like you can't handle it yourself, I guess. So, and with that, you step out, the door shuts and the cab does a U-turn and pulls away. What's the plan? I will casually walk comfortably the same way that I've gone every time. Right to the front? Right to the front. And as the last time, before you get all the way to the front, you are greeted with a red dot on your chest. Hey, it follows hey, hey. you. It follows as you walk up, but as you kind of throw your hands up, the two that sit outside, as I said to Dakota earlier, uh, walk up, and one of them you recognize. Um, as they kind of approach you, they immediately, without words, start patting you down. Well, one begins to pat you down as one keeps a gun trained directly on your chest. Uh, oh, well, easy, easy. You're not That's carrying real any a problem. <laughs> you're not carrying any weapons, right? None. No, yeah. Uh, as they clear you, uh, there's a you see him pull out a walkie-talkie, and they radio to somebody, and you hear a female voice kind of chirp back. And uh, after that said, he walks. They, he, let's say he walked ten feet away to do that. Walks back. You can stay right here. She's coming. You're lucky we didn't shoot you. You're just so fucking big. It's hard to hard to miss someone you recognize like that. Yeah, I got a face for radio and all that. There's a, a minute where it looks like somebody's about to say something, but before he can, a hand hit uh, touches his shoulder, interrupting whatever thought he was about to have, as obviously uh, she's, he steps away, and, and uh, the young leader steps forward again, Scarlet, I believe. Yes. And she looks you up and down. I don't remember uh, asking to meet you here, and you got to give me one good reason not to just take you out right now. Oh, my God, this posturing. It's happening all fucking night long. Look. It's almost like... The city doesn't like vampires very much. Yeah, and I, from what I've been seeing, they don't really like you either. So just hear me out before you start pumping me full of lead. I'm listening. Go ahead. You're fucking dirty. Okay, you got caught. Your people got caught. Would you like to elaborate? Your people got caught. Doing what? Going into the club. There are so many. Which one? I... Give them roses. I don't actually know the name of roses. Uh, I gave it a name. I don't. Uh, I don't know. I'll neon look. or no something. Oh, it's I in can't our notes. We'll look. Yeah. Um, she he he. Uh, she look. Uh, she kind of maintains eye contact. Uh, and how do you know that? Well, because it's my job to know things. And literally, that's part of what I do in my clan. We trade in secrets. We hear and we see everything. And I know they're gonna make a move on you. Oh, is that what this is about? They're going to make a move on you. So you say that, and and she goes, what are you looking for in return? What do you mean, what am I looking for in return? You asked for a name. You can't follow through on the name if you're fucking dead. So if I'm to get this straight, you're here for my own good health? Somebody who's threatened you in no uncertain terms? You care? This is weird. Right, yeah. follow me on this one. This is weird, but I'm actually not threatened by you. I know you can kill us, but so can literally all of the others too. But if Have you, you considered that, but if these 
people who are about to surprise attack us are, as you say, going to do so, isn't it better for you to just let them? Listen, you said that you were going to come for me. You wouldn't come for everything that I had, my money, my family, blah, 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 blah. The same, same song and dance I've heard for a dozen years. Heard from everyone. But I know the people are making moves in this city. I know the hunters are moving, and some of them are even successful. And I wasn't lying when I said that there's some bad eggs in this city. And believe it or not, I know it's going to be hard for you to sleep at night hearing this from me, but not all kindred are absolutely the worst fucking things that walk in this city. There's a moment, and she's like, you and I could have a fucking shitting good time of a fucking philosophical conversation and i love not to have about it. your actions you don't get it in order for you to still walk these streets you still have to hurt innocent people you can't not exist without doing that that's what we're trying on the basis of baselines to prevent from happening i i can't tell you the last time i hurt someone that had a heartbeat because I don't. And the people that are willing to help me stay alive, I more than meet whatever they ask in return. It's consensual, baby. I don't she, know if that's going to help you sleep at night, but it is. She shakes her head, and of the difficult... You're, you're, you're going to sit here and tell me that you're different than the rest, that you don't have this weird, deep urge that rises in occasion. I've watched your kind lose their mind due to starvation or just provocation, depending on how paper thin their will is. I'm going to tell you three things here. The names. Kemper, Gacy, Dahmer. Those are people. Of course. Yeah. And they didn't lose themselves or were they just completely average normal dudes? They're serial killers who deserved to be put away. You're right. And there's many more that walk the streets. And there's a bunch of kids that seem to be looming over here on whatever this fucking street is. All of them got big ass guns and shooting both people and kindred alike. So philosophical debate or not, it doesn't change the fact that you are sloppy. Your people got caught and kindred are coming here to make an attack on this place. And how many of those people with guns in their hands are being funded by those who are of your kind? funneling that into their hands curious your to ask, kind how many how many of your there. how many of your kind are in the back pockets of my kind too many and you and i could agree on that it's dirty it's dirty scarlet i'm not i'm not here to try to win i don't want to debate with you i came here to drop this information whatever you wish to do with it is up to you perhaps uh she goes i guess then pardon my, my ass for being a little suspect of you wandering over in goodwill. This is the third time. I'm aware. The third time that I've been here. And I did say that I was working with your previous uh, location advisor, proprietor, whatever you want to call it, Mr. Pink. And when she shakes her head and that's why you haven't died every time you've come here, it still is a bit of suspicious. Of course, I get it, right? Like if it, if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's probably a fucking duck. All right, I'm not sitting here denying what I am. At no point have I denied what I am. And I've not denied the idea that you could just pop me. But I'm seeding you information, whether you want it or not. And you follow through on it, and you're finding that there's proof in the pudding. Uh, she, again, takes in the words, uh, nods kind of at the end of it all. And like last time, I'll take your words and look into them. Like you said, both times you've been pretty straightforward, almost aggressively straightforward, to the point where it's almost like you want to punch me for not being as straightforward as you. It's because literally everyone that I meet threatens me instead of just talking to me. They, they're just like, I'll kill you. I'll take all your money. I'll end your family. I'll kill you. Instead of just hearing me out for what it, for what it is. She, she kind of just nods. You know, if there's a running theme that I've found in my short time, admittedly, doing what I do, taking out werewolves, magic users on the rare occasion. The running theme is everybody hates vampires. Yeah, even vampires hate vampires. 
there there is that just like an, as you say that that awkward silence that just you get it now hand. don't you you get it there's a lot of motherfuckers that i hate in this city because there's a lot of motherfuckers that keep walking up on me telling me that they're gonna kill me they're gonna end my life they're gonna do this and that and blah 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 it gets old it how gets many old. have actually attempted though hey <laughs> you don't want to see that track record a lot oh, of failed attempts i'm sure Let's just say that I got a reputation. That you do. One of the first things you hear about moving into the city on the guys of us is about the kindred who runs a bar. You're Inside open. those walls, Scarlet, it is the only haven. It is a playpen of safety. And anyone that abuses the rules in that place, well, they detect dire retribution. You find a quick way into the ground uh, or into a burner, whatever the case may be. But it's the one safe place you can beget all of your woes, your troubles, your tribulations, and you can come have a burger. And you don't have to worry about someone poisoning your shit or killing you or making threats against you. If you want to just come peel a label and talk to some of my friends, you can. Can you give me a wits insight, please? Of course I can. I mean, I can try, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Five. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. You watch, as you say all this stuff about your club, it's subtle. But the her expression changes. She's very much, uh, well, she certainly was paying attention before. But as you start describing your bar, the rules of your bar, you know, how like how everybody respects it, she definitely seems to... Um, I don't say brighten up, but um, pay attention. She very much like fine. You see her just pay much more attention when you start talking about the rules of the bar. It's subtle, clear, like I said, but she perks up a little bit. You aren't the first hunter to walk in. You aren't the first uh, Harry Potter to walk in. You're probably not even near the first lupine that's come in. All kinds of weird spookies in life have come in. They've had a beer. They've had a burger. One of my famous burgers, admittedly. It's one of the few things that were a part of my living life that I actually enjoyed. And I carried it into this, made it into a bit of a work of art. She shakes her head. I appreciate your time. You've um, given me much more than I thought you would have. Surprisingly, I hear that from a lot of people. Enjoy that's all night. I got for you tonight. And she like almost at time as you say that simultaneously, she's like, enjoy your night. I got stuff to do and a lot to think about. A lot to think about. She looks to her two security guards. I get him out of here. And they kind of step forward as they she walks away. Obviously, you're not you're not fine. I don't need no help. And they, they're not like shoving gun barrels into your chest or anything like that. In fact, they take a half step forward, but once they see you're leaving on your own will, they don't they don't follow, they don't bother. Uh, and you're able to walk away. And I imagine walk a few blocks out before um, heading out to the, Lights Out the pub. pub or. Yeah, the pub. About, we'll say about three hours have passed uh, from you going and speaking with people and then heading out to the warehouses and having that conversation. Well, maybe probably closer to like two hours before you arrive back, making it around midnight to 1 a.m. The largest group of the hang on, my throat is like getting dry out of nowhere. Um, as you uh, as you approach, obviously the bar is still busy, but the rush hour of just out of work, grabbing a drink, grabbing a burger is long gone. And while most of the seats are still pretty full, not all of the seats with standing people uh, are filled. You walk into the back and um, Grant's actually cleaning, scraping out about half of the grill as he no longer is using about half of it. And is starting to clean it up with Dakota and Ava uh, milling about, uh, just kind of like- Dakota kind of looks chill. so bored. Like kill me! I've been waiting for three hours. I, I we've taken, we've done nothing. We've come up with no plan. I am like, I, was, I peeled multiple labels. I'm done. She's yeah, halfway through is, her is wine probably bottle. trying yeah. to have conversation. Their light conversation. Yeah, yeah. Like Ava's I, still talking. <laughs> and so I was. Um, last time I saw Brett, uh, we talked a little bit about some of the recent happenings. I even asked him about if he knew any, like, of some of the clans that we don't usually know about, like, you know, like, 
since he's trying to get with like every clan. This is what Ollie walks into. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I'm wondering if like I, he's like I trying would... to get with this like Hakata, like Salubrit. Like, is what, he trying what? to like you, he's been with you a know, girl? Like we would um, touch him with a ten foot pole. I'm just, I'm just saying, like he. He wants to get with everybody. This so is what that girls talk about. Now it's chance. <laughs> yeah, Dakota oh. seems like completely just like drained oh, you're this back. conversation. Please, uh, please tell me how it went. And I hope it had nothing to do with fucking Brett. Interestingly enough, nothing to do with Brett. Oh, thank, thank no God. Surprise. <clears throat> and I um I took a page out of both your books. Oh. Yeah, I went uh I'm curious what you took out of Dakota's book. I got books. Major <laughs> movement. It's um, it's kind of dirty. I'm proud of it, but at the same time, it still kind of sticks to my brand. So, as you know, I went to um, uh, what was it called? Like the Neon Kiss or whatever. Rose's Bar. That was the name of it. Yeah. Yes. Good memory. <laughs> she saw me. She saw me pretty much immediately, and um, well, honestly, I trash talked the shit out of her. Cheers. It felt really nice. Doesn't it? It's like therapy. <laughs> she said nice. something to the effect of, well, 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 Oscar finally left his trash can or some oh, shit like that. She did not. I know. Yeah, so I called her a trash can. <laughs> that, was like a, that, that was an Avon line. That was. Dakota that, a gas. <laughs> she, she did not. Oh, I'm ripping off on Dakota. <laughs> She's so been hanging out with this Ava for way two better gossip than night. Ava's gossip tonight about Brett. <laughs> I went in. We, we had a private room. She was drinking her fancy wine. She didn't offer me a drink, so I laid down 100 on the table. I told her to buy us with something nice. She was looking real scrappy, and that pissed her off. She okay. said I was, uh, I spent a little too much time with both of you, and I think it's probably true. Uh, okay. but well, other than trash talking her, did you get any business done? Yeah, um, I'll have you know that I told her about the hunters, right. and she is going to clear the boon. Oh. For what? Well, for, for you that. telling her? Yeah, she says she's going to check it out, make sure that it's legit, and that she's going to clear your boon with a harpy. She said it will go on the books as a courtesy and thanks to Oliver Hopkins, but well, what the fuck do I care? Well, thank you, Ollie, for doing that. Here's so where I did the dirty thing. This is what I, that's where I pulled a Dakota. Mm. I went to the Hunters. Oh, I thought you blew something up. No, no, God, no. Okay, I'm not that much Dakota, all right? Mm -hmm. Look, it's not there yet. We I went to the Hunters. Blowing, we talked about blowing stuff up tonight. But we haven't done it. <laughs> surprise, so, surprise. Just, just so you know, we haven't done anything. I'm not surprised. This is what mm -hmm. happens every time I leave. Mm -hmm. I'm actually more surprised that I came back and it was kind of that girl talk about who, why is it always about Brett? Because you know, I ask myself the very same question nightly. From Holly. And from over fucking Ollie's shoulders here, Grant. Yeah, I fucking ask myself the same fucking question. At least it wasn't Saito this time. I wish you'd so. just talk about me. <laughs> Saito, oh God. Okay, well, right, every right, time sorry, you say sorry, that name, I feel like look. a cold breeze comes through the kitchen. And I... Maybe he's here. No, oh, I, went to the, I went to the hunter. You never know. No, no, he's not. He can't be. I met with Scarlet, their, uh, their leader. They went to the whole spiel, right? Like, we could have okay. killed you on the spot, and blah, 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 and all the hullabaloo and pissing and all that. But I, find, I, I told her. I told her that she was sloppy, that she got caught, and that Kindred are going to be making a move on him. So you played them against each other. Okay. Yeah, I told her that she's so going to have to operate fast. And she was like, what, what, what do you get out of this? And I said, nothing. You get to fucking keep kicking. And it means that you potentially remove more threats. She's like, I don't trust your angle because you're a bloodsucker. It, it's the southern? same song and dance. Yeah, no, got southern that's, sensibilities, <laughs> baby. She might, I mean, she might be. I don't know. She's mouthy. She's young. <laughs> and she clearly has, has, a, has a problem. But I rolled on him. Ava, they both uh, know can about you each keep other. talking, Ollie, but uh, Ava, can you please make me a resolve, uh, composure, a resolve composure check, please? Okay. The point is, I wanted to catch them off kilter. I wanted to make them anxious so that they're prone to making a mistake right now. And because they're both aware of each other, there's a high likelihood that they're going to make some mistakes and they will slip up. Either it will remove threats from the bar, and it means that Rose is going to be less protected, or Rose is going to get out in the field. She might catch a case from this group of hunters. In which case, make a move faster. Okay, so... So we have to wait again? 
It's okay. Ali set all the pieces in motion. We get to, this is the fun part. We get to see who kills who first. And as you say that, and you look back over to Dakota and then over back to Ali, as your vision goes back to Ali, standing within an inch, maybe just over his shoulder, you can see Saito's face. Oh no. Here we go. Simply there, suddenly, there was no dark, like a plunging into darkness or a feeling of losing oneself or peering beyond the veil simply he is there as the camera blur pans back over to ollie he is essentially would be touching ollie chest to back with how close he is but his eyes locked on you ava and his you can only barely see the bit of his glow of his red gem that keeps his tie you blink a couple times perhaps he even stuns you into silence and after about yeah. three or so seconds and you blink, he's gone. A Ava, why are you? Yeah, there's that moment. She goes to say something, way. and she stops for a minute, and then I, she looks I've, confused. I've I've seen you, you know, look like that before, but not at Ollie. You all right? Um. Yeah, I just thought I saw something. I, uh, oi, oi, mama, I don't, please don't, don't say it. Just keep it to yourself. You know what? You had a hard night of talking. I don't want to hear you say the words. I don't want to hear you say it. I don't want to hear you say it. Ollie, um, she's gonna say it. Uh, I, I you saw Saito last, right? Nope, she said it. She yeah, said it. Uh, it's like why? We say his name, something. I saw happens. him in, uh, yeah, the labyrinth. Why? Okay, he was just, he was just right behind you. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty. It makes sense. I'm getting my gun. Uh, Grant walks out front. There are still people it, here. Uh, uh, I just. Is um, he gone? Is he still there? Like. Uh, he's, he's gone. I'm gonna like, scan the. A Ava's gonna scan the room again and see. Uh, she, she might actually force a vision oh. as you, well as you scan the room you don't see you don't see him anywhere he's not lingering in any corners standing by any doors uh, uh it was just a brief you just saw him for like a second he might be trying to say something it could be your like can you can you guys get no. tired can you guys have like exhaustion no i know i i've been having I mean, we can but it's fine like, yeah, sleep. We can. it Maybe looks a hallucinating different. right Okay, I, I hallucinate a lot, and it usually means something. It means he's trying to tell us something. Or, you know what, it's playing with your you know what. I, I know it's him. I know it's not fake. It's He has his own thoughts, his own voice, everything. And he's told me things that we didn't know, so it's actually him. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna deny that maybe you saw something, but none of the rest of us saw Even anything. Ollie saw him. Ollie saw him, and it was him. It wasn't it was all him. Yeah. Wait, where, really hard to mistake him. Where did you him. see him? He was in the labyrinth. Here. What the fuck? He's never... Nobody wants to visit Dakota. Hey, baby, I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm visiting you. Um, The difference, and I think you guys talked about this, is you were very close to the center where the veil was its thinnest. Okay. When Ollie was in the labyrinth. Ava, deep breath. How about this? Let's go back to what we were doing when Saito showed his adorable not punchable face and um uh maybe he'll come back maybe it was the conversation about the plan we're trying to make that, okay. that really will inspire him to return okay okay yeah yes. you imagine we just cut over to the <laughs> Ava. she's already mid-vision like, yeah oh, i'm not waiting <laughs> and, and we're not gonna do anything drastic we're not gonna try to like do the black eyes thing you're yeah. in the middle of the bar with all of these people. We're in the back room. Okay, bar still at. Okay. Uh, fine, fine. I'll, I'll focus. Sorry. Um, Just. You know, he, he usually appears when we want him least. And right now, I really don't want him to be around. So if you don't want him to be around, he'll definitely come back. <laughs> you think it's like Bloody Mary if you say his name three times, <laughs> he just shows up? Uh, it's kind of like Candyman. I don't think that's how it works. Man. You ever watch Candyman? I ain't seen Candyman. It's a, it's a classic. I lived in train cars for the entirety of my youth. I called Only... my dealer my Candyman. Y'all need some cinema culture. I mean, we called the drug dealer the Candyman. 
Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What Grant said. Candyman, I'm sorry. Come on, get I'm, so, I'm sorry. Come on, come on. Sorry that that you that you didn't have that. That's all right. I, what, whatever. What? It was maybe it's I don't know. Maybe it's just because I came from like, a, a black family. Movie? Like it happens. Yeah, it was a scary movie. It was a big black guy with a hook hand, and bees came out of his chest. Whoa! <laughs> was Nicolas Cage there? Not the bees. <laughs> no, that's totally what? different no. movie. Okay. Um. And he, the great looks over to Ava. Oh, uh, Saito's still not back because what? you know he he doesn't like yes. the Candyman. Maybe. Yeah, maybe he hates the yeah. Candyman. But he does like us talking about the hunters and Rose killing each other. Yeah, good good work, Ollie. That was. I wasn't sure how that was going to go, but. Um, I mean, could it have turned out any better? I, no, I think you did great. I'm, so, I mean, do we just see what happens now? So I'm gonna be really I think honest. Regardless, but Tavish is gonna hate this plan. Regardless, I think we're in a situation where we have to wait, right? We have to wait now on our own hands. But we didn't get any of Emmy's goons. I haven't had a chance to even talk to her. We will. There will be fallout from this, regardless, and we're gonna have to deal with that. So McTavish will get his blood. Emmy will get her blood. Oh, I didn't tell you the worst part. Oh, it's gonna make it's gonna it's gonna make you mad, Ava. What? What? In, in Dakota, too. Um, everything that you did at the club was for nothing. What do you mean? She ran insurance on that, and she's decked that motherfucker out. It's hot. So it is popping. They've got brand I new dais for the DJ, hot new floor. Toilets. No, it's she's taking advantage of that. She got hella care. money. I know that for a period of time, her and her shitty velvet heels were sloshing through sewage. That is all I need yeah. to sleep well when the sun rises. It's true. Well, her clientele was through the fucking roof. All right, they were waiting around the block. Well, they have no taste, and we all fucking know that. You're right. So I say is when the dust settles and everything clears, it's ripe for the picking. I'd like to go halfsies on it. Looks like a really good joint. A lot of income there. So, um, you know, since you were seen on site at both locations tonight, and worst case scenario here, uh, they realize that you played them against each other, and we're kind of fucked. Why don't we get the hell out of town for a while or like go hit the boat for the night and like get off the shoreline so we have like a, a what's the word I'm looking for? An alibi. I need you to make me a, a resolve composure check, Ava, after she says that. Okay. <laughs> Two. It is even briefer than last. Out of the corner of your eye, you swear you see a figure. The details are hard to see, but you recognize Saito's uh, silhouette almost anywhere. But when you dart your eyes over, nobody's there. Ava, boat, huh? Boat, go sailing. Um, I think I just want to be at the tower tonight. You never want to be at the tower. I... He needs to do drugs, a.k.a. Premier well, what, what, what day of the week is it? <laughs> she needs to do it. No, what, what, She's, what, like, itching. What day of the week is it? We, we could uh, uh, go to the club. You could, you could fulfill all of your Brett fantasies. It's, and it's ask him Man City Monday. Uh, yeah, I want to know if he slept with a gang. <laughs> it's Man City Monday. <laughs> uh, no, I, I... Look, we had a pretty chill night tonight, and I'd like to keep it that way. Um, so maybe we could just... I don't trust this. Can I roll it inside? Forgive me tomorrow. What do you want to roll? I don't, I, I don't, Ava's never like, let's insight? call it an early night so I can. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Like, like, this so is so cool. I'm not going to. I was going to say, it'd be a wit's insight check unless Ava's, I mean, Tracy says it's pretty obvious. I, I'm not going to pry, right? But that's a little suspect. It's pretty fucking obvious. Okay, yeah, don't you have to honestly. roll. You are, Dakota, you can instantly, you can suspect it's already fishy. Uh, okay, you know what, Ava? You go home early. Ollie and I are gonna go to the club, aren't we, Ollie? I'm down. You bitches. <laughs> you bitches. I, heard, <laughs> I heard from Grant since it is Titty Monday that Ollie has some nips that really need to be shown off. Yeah, so I gotta Grant, let these uh, birds fly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, don't I ever? Uh, so yeah, we'll just um. Yeah, we're gonna go to the club. We'll tell Brett and all your friends that you said hi, but tonight you just weren't feeling up to it. 
Ooh, interesting tactic. How does Ava react? <laughs> um, You'll be so missed, Ava, but, you know, I guess we'll just have to find somebody else who's alive for the party. The shame. All right, fine, fine, <laughs> fine. I know you bitches, okay? And you know something's up. I know something's up, okay? I, I need to figure out what this is. You know me, clearly, yeah. and... I just saw him again, so I need to see what is happening. Look, sometimes you spend way too much time on it. If he's got a message, let him really think it out and contact you through the veil or whatever, you know? Okay, oh, 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 I have an idea. I have an idea. What's okay. your idea? Saito's clearly following you on like a stalkerish style level, which means wherever we go, he will fucking be there. Um, what if we like, what if we got away for Saito to communicate with us? Outside of you having to do the creepy... Yeah, let's go to the labyrinth. Uh, That's fun. Let's no, find a Hakata. No, no, not vampire. <laughs> I don't really trust a labyrinth over Hakata. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, like... Like, um... Like, like a Ouija board. Or like uh, a pendulum, right? These mm. things are used to measure energy, and then technically, regardless of the fact of whether you're in the fucking, uh, what is that place, uh... The, 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 the other way realm where Saito's hiding out with the sandwich. Um, the abyss. Or the abyss or heaven or hell or whatever you believe in. It all, it's, it, there's there's energy there. Ghosts have it, uh, paranormal activity, all, all of it. Fuck it, whether you believe it or not. It's true. Science can't prove. So there are ways to communicate. So if Saito's in here creeping about, maybe there's a way we can communicate with him without you having to get weird and us owe a bunch of boons to this fucking mm. Akata. Ah. Look, if I did... I've done it multiple times. I've done, I've for, I've had these visions mm -hmm. and it's been fine. You watch me and you know if something goes bad, you just punch the shit out of you. Yeah, yeah. So yes. Okay, so, let's uh, let's recap. And I'm willing to take the beating in the ivory tower. Do Weird. Remember, do you remember me telling you that story? Remember the story where you were like, "Oh yeah, it'll just be a, a dip. I'll just dip my toe in." You begin melting on the floor. You that did happen. you were like liquid goo. And you know what happened when you turned into liquid goo, Ava? Do you, do you remember what I told you happened? I don't remember. Uh, yeah. Sybil talked to you. Yes, correct. Sybil showed her ugly, barren face and had some shit to say, which was fine. I wasn't really that concerned, but I was concerned about you because I thought I was going to have to mop you up, put you in a bucket, and take you home. So, like, when you turn into a pile of goo, I can't punch your pretty face. I'm just saying. You've taken the, 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 the talking thing to, 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 to some extremes, and I'm, I'm concerned. Resolve composure check, Ava. Oh my god. So you know what? If Saito is around here poking his ugly face into what we're doing, he can make himself useful and figure out a way to communicate with us. Like, can he write like spooky messages in the fog on the mirror? Again, you see out of the corner of your eye a familiar silhouette. Details are sparse. But you watch as Ava just for a half a second, eyes dart over as she looks over again. But as you do so, there's- Is he on me again? Again? Hey, Ava. Bro, do someone else! It's Saito, <laughs> if you're here and you can hear my voice, flicker the lights once for yes. Write and catch no. up or something. I'll clean the table uh, after. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fine. Look, I, I've got a lot of hot, hot air. I'll go put it on the mirror in the bathroom and you can write Ava a love message. Just- Hey, hey, do you think do you think we should call Zach Baggins and get him in here? Maybe we could make a little, uh, maybe we get me famous. Ooh, that's a cool idea. Dakota. Oh, no, Zach Baggins. He's about, he's got that ghost show. Where he hunts ghosts? No? All right. Uh, you leave. don't know who Candyman is, but you watch trash television? Oh, I watch God. reality okay. television. Okay, all right. You know what, Ava? I'm going to make you a deal. You can do your creepy, weird talking to your boyfriend and, you know, into a different dimension thing. But you have to do it on the boat in isolation where you can't hurt yourself. I was going to just say, I'm going to do this whether you say yes or no. Surprise. But I'm giving you the option to choose where I do it. Okay. I, but we're safe here. We're in Listen, Ollie's I'm bar. doing drugs. I'm just giving you the option to make sure I don't OD or not. This is a safe space. No. We have no, all, all of pu public. Grant pu has public a gun. Space. He can shoot me if we need that. Nobody too. is. That's what Zach you, did. <laughs> First off, we nobody's actions will mimic Zach's, especially the shooting yeah. you. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna come together. We're gonna trot over to the boat. We'll drive out to the middle of the lake. Ollie and I. But he's here, Dakota. 
He's here. He's in this room right now. It's Why? because you're here. Why? Yeah, yeah. Wherever you go, he goes. It's his codependency at its finest across dimensions. Hey, y'all both, like, I don't know if they have therapists in the void, but fuck, y'all need some help. And that's coming from us. I got issues. I'm doing this. Oh my god. Are you gonna do no, 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 yes. you have to you have Just... to go to the very back room and oh my god. Ollie, we have to stay with her. Uh there's a thing we can do. Hey Jesus Grant Christ, go to the go to the freezer. Yeah, yeah. Grant, no nobody gets in the back. Close the bathrooms oh off for a little god. bit. C close, got it, boss. Call an early like what's the word I'm looking for? Um last call? Yeah, make it less early call. Yeah, make it early call. Early call, you ding, got it. Ding. I'll take care of it. <laughs> And uh, do you need my shotgun? No, we're not shooting. No, anymore. we're not. Not this time. <laughs> I'm just okay. Yeah, and he goes there and he starts like getting ready to kind of get things closed up. You move into the freezer with Ava. Ava, uh, do you? So, are you guys staying like inside the freezer with her? Or are you like? Yeah, we're gonna have inside? to. I'm not gonna. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be like uh, propped up in the door. Ava, do you like sit down, cross your legs, and like kind of just get comfortable? I. Uh... I, uh, I don't get super comfortable. I just get in there and do it, basically. All right. Make me your roll. Uh, arouse check since you're inducing it. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, you get a little hungrier. Uh, yes, I do. And uh, I believe I roll a... Doo -doo -doo, it's been a while. Oh, good. Um, resolve the aspects. Four hours. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Resolve... Have to go on break. So... Uh oh god, I hate this. Um I hate doing this on the on the thing. Uh I'm just gonna roll the one, two, three. Yeah, you can just do it that four, way. Four five. It's five D ten. Don't Do you want five. to make an additional rouse check to add yes. two to this die? Oh. Okay, okay, you don't get hungrier. So add two more. Five <clears throat> that's sorry, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Seven seven D ten. All right slash rolls this is the freezer which means it has a drain um, one two three four four successes which is quite good dakota before as she goes like into whatever fucking trance she's about to do dakota like tries to stop up the drain in case she goes liquid we do not need you washing away into the sewers <laughs> god so are you standing give me a paint me a picture of ava <clears throat> i'm right standing she's about to do this i'm just standing in the center of the freezer um i have the door open because he was in... Do you hold on to his notebook? Yes, I would have his notebook out, um, holding on to it, and I just do it right in the center of the and freezer. From the outside, Dakota and Ollie's perspective, it's always hard to tell when she's... is no, you know, grand gesture or any blood magic. It just sort of happens. And But as you watch, you see her close her eyes, and she usually begins in such a manner. Ava, for you... It's less of a, of, even when you close your eyes, you still have a presence, an un understanding of what's beyond it, especially as you induce aspects like abilities. You can almost still see the outside in your mind's eye, but as you close your eyes and begin to let the blood course in, and thicken through your body, you see Saito. He's in front of you, maybe a foot in front of you. And as he locks eyes with you, he simply reaches out his hand to take yours. Uh, I will reach out so to take his. Dakota and Ollie, you see as she closes her eyes, a couple few seconds pass, and then she kind of lazily brings her hand up as though she's reaching to grab something. And just as you are about to clasp your hand around his, the feeling of the sinking uh, as the, ceiling, uh, the feeling of plummeting takes over. You do not mm -hmm. feel a touch. Instead, mm -hmm. everything around you dissipates into a nothingness as the feeling of falling takes hold. Mm -hmm. You plummet for an unknown amount of time. You can't see limb, leg, nor any bit of you, only the abyss of darkness in front of you. The air feels almost hot and humid the further you fall. And when you stop, it's not because you hit the ground or anything solid the feeling of plummeting simply ceases and while you are in a position of on your back you can with ease right yourself and place your feet on something solid below you it feels like a floor of course but much like everything else you see nothing just utter darkness and in that moment 
a voice emanates from that nothing. Ava Heloise, we must speak. And on that, we go to break. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll be back in about five to ten minutes, everybody. I'll uh, bump, I think, my volume a little bit. That felt kind of quiet even on my end. Uh, and we'll go from there. But, uh, yeah, we'll be back in about ten minutes. Ooh, be right anywhere. back.
everybody. I hope you enjoyed your little bit of a break, got a bit of a breather before I ruin everybody's day, <laughs> or at least I ruin Ava's day. Uh, we'll see. I hate it. Oh, I do too. <laughs> <sighs> uh, I don't think there's anything we have to chill. I'm ready to just jump back in. So unless there's anything we want to say, uh, you ready to just go back? Thanks for all the subs, guys. We appreciate it. Oh, yes, yeah, all the subs. Sorry, today. I don't have and a chat open to been... so, like... Uh, the such bar. an amazing day with the community. Thank you. We cannot thank you enough. We're so glad to be back, and y'all clearly are glad for us to be back, and uh, you're showing your love tenfold, so we, gosh, we appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, it helps us it. continue to push in this direction and making content for you guys specifically for this kind of material. Mm -hmm. exactly. Thank you. Yeah, guys. Uh, well, let's uh, let's go in and see what their Saito bars have bought them, shall we? Um <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> the way you say that makes my skin crawl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> too much power. We've uh, given the audience too much power. That's that plummeting feeling that you felt lift almost seems to retake hold. Not due to feeling as though you're actually falling, but the voice rings a fear within you that no other voice can. Did you say anything in response to the voice saying we need to speak? Um, I just will say her name, Sybil, in a kind of like meek and uh, quivering voice. I say her name. The air around you grows thick. Instead of words, feelings rush through you. Can I have a wit's insight, please? What's an insight? Okay. Okay. Three. Three successes. It's hard to pinpoint any one emotion as so many run through you at such a rapid pace. It almost sends you reeling in exhaustion. But eventually that feeling ends. The voice again doesn't come through. Instead, the air around you continues to grow thicker. It begins, if you were to be a, a breathing creature, it would become hard to just simply exist breathing this air. What feels like minutes rush by, uh, unless Ava does anything. I would just ask, where is Saito? There is, um, again, a moment of silence before... You feel a feeling of comfort, gentle, familiar, while you can't see him. It's, so, it, it, it's, it's as though muttering his name rushed forward, a piece of him in some way. Sybil then finally speaks. I am a small request. Miss Heloise. A request. What is it that you would ask of me that you don't already have? Danger befalls one of my chosen. I wish you to protect her. One of your chosen. Who? You already know. Is it Rose? And it's a simple feeling of reassurance that rushes through your body. She is one of your chosen. Or is she just one... One of the many. There are so many other. You are in no position to ask such questions, Miss Heloise. I come to you with an option of service. Do you accept? Might I ask one more question? There is simply silence. What about other chosen? There's another. A young girl. Her name is Celia. You know her. She might be in danger as well. Silence 
oh my god i'm sorry my i have heard my gate fall over and just scared the fuck out of me it sounded like a gunshot i'm like oh fuck she's here <laughs> it's evil <laughs> <laughs> um fuck uh you celia. said yeah, yeah i'm yeah, asking yeah, about yeah, celia yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. uh the silence continues to linger there is no response if yeah, i might push it a little bit here sure. just, uh, please i i know that you have plans and i am not one to question them but there is much more potential in this young girl than there is in Rose. I think I've seen her and I've seen what she's capable of. She is much more important to keep Everybody around. Everybody has their role to play, Miss Heloise, even those of the smallest variety. Celia and Rose are not the same individual. I am asking you to protect one, not the other. My protective gaze sees all of our children I understand. Then fine. If if you need a me, a group to... of mortals deem it necessary to eliminate Rose, ensure they do not. Her ego fills her brain with thoughts of rot and confidence. She is not prepared. However, she is necessary. Should you fail, your life would be in jeopardy, Miss Heloise. The feeling of plummeting once again takes root. Before you reach out to say another word, nothing can escape your lips. In a moment, a flash that feels like an eternity, your eyes open. On the outside, she reached out her hand and it lingered there for about six seconds. Her eyes have opened. It was seconds. Well, did you well, see him? <sighs> yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't him trying to tell me something. It was. It was Sybil. So now she's using Saito to try to communicate with you. Uh, Ava, you're not sure. If Saito was attempting to bring you into contact with her, or if he was simply trying to warn you of her uh, attempting to reach you, you don't know. You don't know because he wasn't in the abyss. You simply, yeah. when you mentioned or had thoughts of him, you felt what you feel to be comforted and, and was him. But uh, yeah, he wasn't there in the abyss. You saw him up here, and that's simply it. It's unclear. He could have been trying to warn me. I know the two of you like to paint this evil picture on him. But he actually is trying to help. Okay, well, maybe not show up in the middle of, you know, coterie planning time. Boundaries, Saito. Uh, I hate to put a wrench in our coterie planning time, but Sybil is aware of what's going to happen to Rose, and she doesn't want it to happen. And I need to stop. You've been Why? it to stop. Why? Uh, because she's... One of Sybil's chosen. Uh, it's like a Sybil problem. Why is it your problem? Because I'm connected to Sybil. Okay, and what happens if you don't? I don't want to find out what happens if I don't. She never, she wasn't specific. <laughs> she said my life was in danger. Okay, so yeah. I don't want to find out. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. If we want to go along with this whole plan Sybil cares enough about rose and her grand plan that she needs you to save her apparently she, she probably needs all the sombra in chicago <laughs> or at the very least every la sombra counts if not all but again you know that the the presence of la sombra within the city while certainly much higher than it once was why why uh, not they... other la sombra why Rose? I What's suggested, so fucking special about her? I suggested Celia. She oh. said every single one has their place. It's probably she needs as many La Sombra in Chicago as possible for whatever she's planning. 
and Maybe stir stir your memory a little bit because it's been like a couple of years really uh rose was directly connected to saito and rose was saito's connection to the little sombra in some way so she was she's always been in deep she's been in deep since the very beginning you just don't know how deep she's always been I'm yeah rose you, has always had this you connection don't, it's like mctavish right you don't go hey i want to protect this thing with my life or yours ava carrying her shadow without it being important in some way i mean she 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 what threatened you if you didn't do it you've you know i'll get the whole the whole coterie <clears throat> Wit, give me a, a wits a wits insight check i think is what i need i think enough information has trickled out where it's worth having rolls ollie with the three Ava with the one. You could reroll three if you spend a willpower point, of course. Mm -hmm. I got a two. Mm -hmm. and two. Good one, two and three. three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll keep that. You're going to stay? Okay, cool. Everybody yeah. sticks to their rolls. I'll, it'll just be you. It takes a moment. You're sitting there and you're thinking, why this person? You got Dakota's asking excellent questions, questions that are getting everyone's brains moving. The word chosen is the first time you've heard this. This term hasn't been used or brought up by <clears throat> Sybil or any of them. And then there's the, well, as uh, as Ava brought up, Celia. Well, I don't think she brought it up to you, but you've been in contact with her. Her voices, her importance and everything. You're starting to I... wonder if this chosen might be more than just her simply choosing people, but they may be direct descendants of her bloodline. I have. And there was that moment in season one or two where Ava was informed via vision through what was Sybil's voice for the first time I think you ever heard her when she told you that you were supposed to be a La Sombra. Of her bloodline, I bet. Of her bloodline. Oh, fuck me. So Rose could be a direct descendant. Oh, Ollie, do you this is something this Ollie would start piecing together because he's the only one with the three successes. I did have start an... little scattered puzzle pieces over like seasons that are years. What if it's from a child's child's child? child right? It could be right. Literally, it could be. What so, it, like uh... a chosen? Like what? What if it's um? So she doesn't want her bloodline to die off. That's why she's going to watch Ava, over which would fit in with her. Plans it's her blood. Her... I I did have that one vision in the bar where I saw all those La Sombra in the room with Sybil. Those are probably all of her all bloodline. All kneeling to her. her you, and her destiny. plan of wiping out, what well, your assumed plan of her wiping her sire out. Did you see their order. faces? I saw you, Celia. Yeah, you I, saw Celia. That was the only That was the only one I saw. Oh, you might have saw Rose's too, actually, if I remember correctly. But definitely Celia. You definitely saw Celia in that vision. Oh, yeah. I have a fun idea. This is an important piece of information. She just played a hand, and and when we picked up on her bluff, her, yeah, let's do it. Let's save Rose, and you know what is the safest place to put a kindred who we don't want the hunters to find. We want to assure she really torpor. Maintain, yeah. Throw her in the fra freezer. Better yet, throw her in the lake. I, I we think identify everyone of Sybil's I... bloodline, and we torpor them, and we throw them in the lake, and we hold them as levers against this sandwich. Mm. If she needs them, like she needs you, we can't threaten your life. But I don't give a fuck about Rose. Thoughts on that, Ava? Uh, I think. And Ollie, obviously, who's been sitting there I, contemplating. I don't, I don't know. I, I, it, I, I think that we shouldn't do anything right now. Oh, come on. I think. We'll be sitting here all night. I know. I know, Dakota. I know. But I, I'm not sure what to do with this information in the long run. That might be a good idea. I think for now, we should. Well, I hate to Protect break it, Rose. Dude, but, but, but Ollie just said, I mean, they... Yes, I know. But <sighs> Ollie also just created a truce with Rose that we don't owe her anything. She doesn't owe us anything. We can just leave it at that. And oh, we stop the You could even take hunters. that and then, like, 
you this might make her owe you save her life but but ollie's the one who set it up <laughs> no 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 yeah yeah but for she, sure i mean she doesn't know that but well, what like, sybil also said she won't survive on her own her ego has that's rotted true. her brain yeah that's why she's asking because she thinks she's too fucking good for herself at this moment this is true uh we should just save rose leave her and now we know more about this that she's a descendant oh, of but that's so boring sybil. we're gonna let her go if we do something now sybil will know and be angry well i mean the fact we, of the matter is if we don't act quickly rose is dead anyways if 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 what ollie said tonight is true in terms of what you know business he set up with so yes. we need to walk if, in there right now and kidnap her so this might even a answer ava's question and i i don't mean to interject as well but i want to make sure what I was saying is kind of clear and not lost in the sauce so much. Um, obviously, if what you've been told is that she cannot hear or see out of her shadow, like she said, how she learned this information uh, it had to have been, has to be kind of like curious, I imagine. And uh, yes, with really what a, it should indicate to you in the way she was speaking to you was supposed to indicate she's got a, one side of this information, likely directly from Rose. Um, and Saito was trying to maybe reach out to warn you ahead of time in some way um i don't want you to think that like sh the shadow He's... can hear and see what you're saying because right, that's not right. the case yeah uh, she yeah. learned of all this she... about yeah. about this hunter yeah. attack yes but if we even if like say if we put rose in torpor like right now she's not going to be a communicating with sybil and sybil will know something is up so that's still a red flag i think we should leave rose alone for now I can't believe and as, you're saying that. I know, I, I know. A week ago, I was going to be the one, one to take her head. I know, I know. But I can't defy what Sybil is saying right now. She is more powerful than all of us, and I have to stay on her side until the very end. So. And what's saying right now? I torpor you. What do you do? If you can't act, I don't know. A good question. Oops! I you don't had know. scary eyes in the freezer. We put a stake through your heart. That's what I heard. It's an easy cover. When she comes back and goes, "What the fuck?" You can be like, "I don't know. My coterie freaked and staked me." I then like Ollie's stake idea. Me. All we gotta do is wait it out till Rose is dead. I'm, then you can't be blamed. I'm, Look, here's here's. I'm not, I, I can't let Rose die. Look, 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 look! Wait, wait a minute, wait. We already let Rose know that there's going to be a hit on her place. Sybil doesn't think she's going to live through this. No, that's that was a the whole Sybil point. problem. That's the Sybil problem. We've done our due diligence. Yeah, we let her know that something's going to happen. I pointed them out. You know, though, I think it, Layla knows about the club too, right? Yeah, we also like. Yeah, yeah you definitely fed her name to Layla first, too. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Wait, wait, wait. How far? You don't know. So, that's the other thing, too. Uh, Sybil said, under attack by mortals. You don't know which group she even means. It's true. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. All right. Well, it does matter. I have a question. How far is Rose's club from the Hunter hideout? On Pretty far because she's, she's closer to the rack. She's yeah, just outside like the, the 40 the minutes. Wait, okay, so like 40 minute drive. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about as the bird flies? Uh, you, you, uh, the only person who would know that would be you. I wonder how fast <laughs> I can make it. This is all like to, to both Ollie and Ava. Yeah, yeah. I, Dakota's basically Ollie's always doing been that the fastest. Yeah, he yeah, can climb. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so if there was something I hadn't told you. Uh, that could be you, beneficial in this moment. Um, you get a pilot license. Do uh, <laughs> rent a wolf, uh, and you you uh, ride yeah, them it, across the streets. I, what do you think Gangrel do? <laughs> <laughs> that is what Ava Dude, thinks Gangrel do. <laughs> walk and drink and run in the woods mostly. Yeah, yeah and you ride wolves. <laughs> yeah, ride yeah. wolves. But not like a dire wolf. Like we're, a we're basically wolf, so an 80s really band weird. piece of cover art. Like, yeah. uh, <laughs> honestly, that's kind of cool. And that would be a great t-shirt. So, okay. uh, <laughs> no, I don't ride wolves. Um, 
I could I mm. could show you the wolves I could show you uh <laughs> how I might be able to get from point A to point B in a, in a quick fashion did you pick up Ollie's like climbing and scaling buildings technique? Yeah, honestly, she's pretty good about it already. I might have had a, a gather with a run in with Beckett, and he he taught me something. Oh, Beckett's back in town. Ooh, what's that latest gossip? I hate that news. You. Yeah, that's not really a good you, thing. Ava. Beckett in town. Usually, you're, you're to meet somebody powerful what's, or something. You know what? I, that's the hot goss I with Beckett. I can't, I can't tell you the hot goss. It's like it's, a fucking it's, 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 the, it's, the harbinger of doom. I, I would be breaking the rules of the gather. The whole point is for us to keep our secrets. I can't. Oh, what happens tell you. at the gang girl meeting stays at the gang girl meeting. Anybody? Anybody cute there? Were there any cute gang girl? Oh my God! How, why, why is this happening right now? Stop it! Stop it! I'm sorry. We I'm were just sorry. talking about sticking a fucking piece of wood in your heart and leaving All right, the gallows humor, man. Gallows uh, humor. You gotta. I just, you know, I'm probably gonna die soon, so I gotta. There are you know. not any cute <clears throat> gangrels by your standard, Ava. Um, and uh, no, the company was uh, a little too personal for my liking. That being said, yeah, that you know what? Would you like to see a magic trick? Hit me, Houdini. Come out to my stage, and I gesture to the alleyway. <laughs> oh God, okay. Are you out gonna in the rob back us? alley next to that nice big mm. blue dumpster? Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to ask that neither of you become alarmed and recognize that I am 100% a okay. I'm scared. This it. This is not like a permanent. Okay. You are afraid of my premonition and whatever you're about to when do. When have I melted into a gelatinous puddle? I don't know what you're about to do, okay. Dakota. When have I ever given you the idea that maybe I might do that? I just, okay. You're giving me performance anxiety. Mm. Uh, Dolly. Dakota can't, Dakota can't even look at them. She turns this around. This scene of Ava being like... Yeah, I'm like... Um, I want to make sure I get this right because I think I'm gonna have to roll for this math. As I'm pretty I think, yeah, sure, yeah, you probably have to do at least one rouse check. It is two actually. <laughs> yep. Let me, no, yeah, wait, no, yep, no, no. Yep. I think it is okay. It is one because I didn't take that. Um, okay, so no test is required, just the rouse check. Hot damn. Uh, uh, you hear Dakota clear her throat. And she turns around and maybe for the first time, the both of you realize, like through the tank top she's wearing, you can see this new set of tattoos on her back. Um, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was painful. Uh, you get a little hungrier. Great, I get a little hungrier. Um, and you you watch as Dakota's dreads and the tattoo and her body all kind of transfigures right in front of your eyes. Her dreads become feathers and it takes on a reddish tone and you see a massive hawk uh, just like sitting in this alleyway. Uh... uh. That was cool! <laughs> oh my god, can uh, can I uh, can I can I feral whispers? Can I talk to her like this? Uh if you can I I, I, I can I, understand you fine. I can so. understand you, but I can't yeah, I can understand you fine. I maintain the ability I have to, to look up yeah, to that. my language actually, I'm pretty sure. Here, I'll check it. Um I'm pretty sure I can. Let's look it up, shall we? Oh, uh, that is under Yep. Okay, let's see here. One rouse check. Uh, upon the transformation, I gain the physical attribute senses and native skills associated yeah. with that animal. I gain their natural limits of communication, manipulation, and so forth. Yeah, you just get stuck in their body. Yeah. So then I can. You can just talk to her. and Honestly, you can just talk to her normally, and she can just, you know, respond with, like, uh, a tap or whatever. Yeah, like can, a squawk or something. I'll she's still got out. human intelligence in there. Uh... uh Dakota? That's a Dakota. fucking big bird. Dakota, you're a bird. I, I like, is... put my wings out like, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, if it's you, I put my arm out. Fly on my arm. Okay, I will. It's as big as you are. Yeah, I, will... Like as big as you. I will fly over, but I'm massive. I try to maintain as little weight as possible, but I'm like huge on your shoulder. Okay, maybe maybe not. As, um, as it lands, it's huge on the shoulder. You just hear from like a little bit of a distance. Holy shit, that's so cool. And as you look over, there's just dude and his uh, girlfriend 
just kind of sat at the end of the alleyway in absolute amazement of this enormous hawk. What the, is it hurt? Holy uh, crap, let me get a picture of that thing. Hold on. He pulls out his I like, immediately I... will try to get the <laughs> fuck out away. of this alleyway. I mean, yeah, um, you can just fly away. You yeah, can just I just fly I out. basically take flight and you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna see how long it takes me to get from here to all three of the points. Sure. Like how fast can I travel? So she immediately her wings spread and with one hard swoop, she takes to the skies, she launches up a few feet, and then with another one and another one, she becomes so small that he's by the time he gets his phone out. He got. He was just stuck in awe watching the uh, her take off. You, you scared it off, man. Oh fuck! I'm sorry. Gee, I was just holy crap. And then his girlfriend like elbows him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't do fucking. You keep, you keep it to yourself. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. What happened? Like, where'd it come from? I don't know. We throw out scraps sometimes, and maybe it probably popped down for like a rat or something. I I don't know, man. It's a fucking big bird. What do you mean? That was oh. crazy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, well. Yeah, it was. Uh, you don't understand. Like, I am a huge fan of birds. Oh, like, seeing uh -huh. a bird of that size in this city is akin to winning $2 million on tomorrow night's scratch tickets. Like, that is insane. Where it flew from somewhere in the north, maybe, and the girlfriend rolls her eyes. Come on, come on. We have a dinner reservation. They don't want to hear about your fucking avian nonsense. He's like, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, uh, you should do you should... some research on like the bald eagle. It's a really cool bird, and that really reminded me of it. And he gets pulled away and, and back onto the sidewalk as he's done babbling about birds. Uh, Dakota she... takes off. Where did she <laughs> go? You're flying directly she probably... there back. <laughs> yeah. She uh, probably went to see how far it was going to take, how long it's going to take to get to Roses. I I imagine it cuts the travel time by at least half. I mean, I I have no. You know what? Let's see. I I yeah. like if I was on how my, fast yeah. can you fly? Yeah. What is um? Plus, you know, it's a straight line, so way shorter. Well, than actually, roads. can we do it on this map? No, because there's not a key. I was about to say I could measure it on this map, but I can't. Um. Okay. You have you don't have to do with any traffic lights. No pedestrians. Uh, you're we're too far north. Yeah. So like. You're there and you're trying to go there. It's a straight line south. It's really. a straight. It's a straight or line north, rather, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's a straight line north. To, she's over here, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, I have no idea. It's like north. Um, north to west. It's probably like ten minutes. That's, that's what I'm yeah. thinking. A ten minute flight, maybe, because it cuts yeah. it probably yeah. by like two thirds, or like it's only so a within third about time. twenty minutes ish on the roughness is mm -hmm. when you return. Did uh Dakota and Ava just? I mean, uh, Dakota rather. Ava and Ollie just stay outside and kind of wait. I imagine uh, he probably yeah. did. I mean, we can go yeah. back inside, right? I imagine yeah. she was pretty confident in that. So I'm going to guess that she can turn back into a regular form and come back inside. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, I need to look. I really haven't really looked at that ability. Can you, can uh, you, what else, what else does she say? Like, she didn't just say, go save Rose and shit. She probably, like... Give me some some straight words here. He said that Rose was in danger. I needed to help, or my life would be in danger. Or your life would be in danger. Why? Because of the shadow. I don't know why. I mean, there's I, no there's I no reason to believe she's not even necessarily bluffing. She's not God. Yeah. She's not omnipotent. She's not omnipresent. I don't know so. if it was a threat or if it was something else. Okay, why don't we send word to someone else? What, to save send Rose or deal with Rose? Someone else to help Rose, right? Uh, There's no could. reason. Here, check this out. What happens if you go there and you save Rose and you get yourself popped? Well, we wouldn't because we're, we know what? what's going to happen. We know what's coming. We yeah, but how fast can you move? Because the last time I checked, none of us move as fast as a 50 cal. No. I I don't know. We just we need to make sure that it's stopped. They're not gonna move tonight. They might. Remember, we have a lifetime to plan. Their lives are over in the blink of a fucking eye. They could move tonight. It's not likely. It's much more likely that they'll end up moving tomorrow during the day. Yeah. But even then, we're not sure. Right I... now, your options are essentially the most lead. Like, you could go to Damien on the side of Damien being the sheriff of town. Um, but going to him 
on the angle of Kevin would take at least 24 hours because Kevin would need to, you know, it's a bit more of an underground information network rather than going to Damien as just the sheriff of Chicago, where it's just a legal matter that'll just be taken care of. And you assume Damien would have to take himself and his hounds or something to go protect. Hmm. What if we asked? We must have other allies that could help. Well, we could tell another Lasombra. Do we know any other Lasombra? Rudy. Oh, Rudy might be able to help. Is Rudy? Does this mean Rudy is also a descendant? There's a strong chance of that. You don't know. Yeah, not every Lasombra is a descendant of hers in the city. But he's my personal keeper. He's already made it very clear that he's constantly watching. Right, I forgot about that. And I've made it very clear to Rudy that I'm not pro sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Snitch. The Nos, maybe. He's not going to save the Lasombra. He's got nothing, no benefits there, nothing that's directly going to aid him at all. I think Rudy's a good bet, honestly. Look, I'll take the boon for him to help. I'll I don't think him. it's a matter of bone. It's a Lasombra v. Lasombra thing. They can figure it out. It's his family. Yeah. We're just tipping. We're just tipping the hat in his. It's it's in his corner. If he doesn't act, then he's got to answer to his own mom. Yeah. Then maybe we do that. Then Dakota just... can arrive when she's ready. I just need to know: Is there any strange activity? Like, has is Rose trying to move oh. out of the club? The in... No, no you don't see. I mean, in that time, we swoop over and swoop back. It doesn't look like they're missing anybody in the place or looks cool. like they're getting ready to go anywhere right now. Great. Then I loop back just to test it. Um, yeah, minutes. I'll come walk, walk, waltz it in the back door. As Dakota? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not, not as Bird just like <laughs> <squatting>. <laughs> burp, burp, burp. Um, uh, No, yeah, I definitely uh, come in as Dakota and I'm like crazy full of energy. It's like somebody's charged my battery. I've had a crazy idea. Uh, Welcome back. Ollie. Uh, yes. You have inspired me. And Ava, your shenanigans have too inspired me. Uh, All right. Do you know what's going on in the city of Chicago the rest of the week? Uh, it's autumn. Um, it's getting cold. Rosh Hashanah. Oh my God. Uh, a gathering of gangrel. Oh. All right. Yes, okay. your gangrel okay. can help us, Dakota. I was thinking, what if the gangrel go in to kill all these hunters when they attack Rose's Club and we save them? What is the one thing that would get under Sybil's skin more than not recognizing the gangrel as an important part of the Camarilla, but having them show up to save her asset's life? Uh... I don't think, I don't think Sybil cares as long as Rose is safe. I think Sybil will care if it involves me. Maybe. She doesn't like me. This is true. And she won't see it coming, which is even sweeter because I've, I've never met an oracle or can see less. All right. Well, let's just say that this is a brilliant idea. How do you coax a group of gangrel to go assist the person who has booted them out of the fucking city? We're not going to tell them it's for Sybil. They don't know about her. Oh, they know about Rose. They know that she's a Lissambra. I mean, yes. And also, it, 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 even if it's not the whole them getting booted out of the camera thing, it's going to... Can you just ask? Like, I, I can. Will they be okay with it? I'm not forcing them. I would ask for them to help. <clears throat> Plus, it sounds like a fucking lot of fun. They're going to get to tear open a bunch of fucking, uh, you know, hunters. Yeah feed for the night, it's, have a well, ravaging good time in the name of Gangrel Fun. And, and all in spite of Sybil. If they need a boon, I am willing to take one for this. Why do you so, keep doing this, man? We're not, I, because it's, it's boom, my boom, burden. Boom, it's boom. my no, burden. No, it's not. What's you, did you the fucking... shadow is my burden. Sybil is my burden. This whole thing is I have to carry it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ava, Ava, Ava. It is your burden to carry the shadow. Choice that you made, right? But our distaste for Rose is trifold. 
and more importantly, my desperate want for the city to notice the importance of Gangrel is palpable. And if that means okay. I gotta do it on your bad choices, fuck it, I will. That's it's politics, this. baby. Look, kid, I know you got two feet in the grave, and you're looking forward to whatever it is that is coming, but believe it or not, I want to see you stick around this shitty city. You're one of the few people that have made it tolerable and worth living in, or unliving in, even. Can't die without giving me a date. I won't let you live Making it down it without giving him a that date. Grant has been cleaning and eavesdropping God damn the whole it, time. Grant. Because I really need him to shut up about it. More importantly, we have Emmy's goons coming. Great reason for them to get involved. Yeah. Okay. Now, pardon me. I know I'm kind of on that loop, but it sounds a lot like the city's kind of in shaky territory right now. What? Where'd you get? Been away for thirty man? years. It's uh. If you need an extra soldier, you know. We made Brother, I can't even trust you to make a fucking hamburger. All right? I'm too tired to argue with you. you I know appreciate what? that. I wouldn't be tired if I was one of you. Incorrect. You would. You would be tired. Of all of the bullshit. That being said, I made That's you a true. promise. And you haven't come What if you just send me into her you? club and I just... I've Blow I've heard about this. Out. I've heard about this promise now a couple of times. You care to elaborate? What is this promise again? Go ahead, tell him. Go I ahead. get buff. She turns me. Turns you into what? Whatever she is. A gangrel. Yeah, that. Yeah, you old enough yet? Because he calls a grangle. Sorry, am I old enough? Uh, yeah. Ollie. I'm probably a thin blood. The point is, Grant's got to get himself. You'll be like Nelson. Wait, what? I can become I one turn. of the. I can become one of the things Saito was like ushering. Oh my god. You could be like Nelson. You two of you could go on little play dates. <clears throat> little. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want that. Cute I little mean, play dates. It's the gamble, Grant. Isn't that what you want? The gamble of the second life. You want to fucking die? All right. Well, if I. Bangs okay. of Ava Heloise so that you can possibly, maybe, just on the slim chance that you're a lucky motherfucker, actually make it into full vampireness, or would you be caught in eternal life halfway there? Mm. It's a real gamble there, buddy. Or, you could just stay as you are. Make some very compelling arguments. I need to go home. <laughs> Good night, Grant. Where's Good night. Head? And he just quickly tosses his apron to the side and with a sigh and a huff, leaves out the back door. We, right. We're gonna have wait. That's that is we we will stop having to table that very soon. No, he, I'm telling you. Are you gonna? Is it finally happening? I say we are chain we him gonna... to the stove so he can't go anywhere. The Ollie, dude was we're gonna... previously a crackhead. Okay, he will disassemble that stove with someone else's hands, oh, and he yeah. will run there. I am. I'm just saying, Ollie. There's gonna ha come a time where we're gonna have to make a decision about Grant. I made a decision. Made the decision to let him have it. If he wants it, he can have it. But it can't be me because I'm going to turn him into a thin blood, and that's not what he's going to want. Well, only not one of you have had a generation bump <laughs> that ensures that you won't create a thin See, blood. I just convinced him that you would turn him into one Ava, or that's a possibility, so that you would not have to make that sacrifice. And here you are throwing yourself do... in front of the bus again. I do not want Grant as my child. I'm sorry. Then, then turn you know him. how many mommy jokes then, he will make. And you can turn him and just lease him to me. Oh my okay. God, you're gonna it's, exactly, it's exactly what happened with Rudy. It'll be an annoying 30 days because he will be first level blood bonded to you after being turned. Just happens with the sire. Just, but that'll oh, pass after 30 days. But I don't want to do this. This doesn't have to happen right now. I'm just it saying doesn't. that eventually. Okay, well, that being said, I thought maybe I'd pull on the gangrel strings, see if we couldn't white knight our way out of the little scenario you set up, I'd, save our I'd, life, and, you know, come out yeah. sparkling I like this idea. And it sounds cleaner if, if, if they're down. If they're down, then, yeah. And more Run importantly, it. the masquerade breach just happens at Rose's Club, which means it'll get cleaned up. Yeah. All right. How are you going to get them in? the same way I got in. Did they all turn into birds? What? No! I didn't get in the door as a bird. <laughs> uh, well, you flew over there. Yeah, but I, I'll meet them there maybe as a bird. Flying is really nice and a freeing feeling. For the record, it, it's very good to clear your mind. That being said, 
I thought we'd sneak in the grate in the back alleyway that leads us into the bathrooms. More importantly, who's going to care when we come or go if we wait until the attack has started? Show the, up just I don't, I wouldn't in time call it to save the day. I wouldn't call it a downside. You just know you'd, you it'll be until tomorrow night that you can get all the gang girl back together again because you just gathered them the night before. Well, we wouldn't be able to do it anyways till the attack happens, so we're waiting on their cue. Yeah, you got basically going to stalk the <clears throat> the uh, hunters until, until something until, happens. Until they go, and then we basically, if you if the, if those gang girl want to show up to help, do that. What, those can show what up. if the, so the next question I would have that I, would, uh, I think the code would be thinking about as well is, what if it's the other hunters? What if it's Layla that assaults? Oh, that's a different story. I didn't think about that. Take Layla. The gang girl could take Layla. The <laughs> gang girl's job <laughs> is to save Rose. Once they get Rose, they can get the fuck out. True. If you tell the gang girls to get in there, stake Rose, and get out, then yeah, you can let the attack just happen just and not happen worry naturally. about it. Yeah, and then yeah, we that's... save Rose. That's yeah. what that's what we're trying to do. You might not do. need like all the gang girl for that though. I mean you might you guys could just do that probably. Or at least mm. make the attempt. I mm. still think waiting till the attack happens is the right move because then she's more vulnerable. Absolutely. And then we look like the sure. white knights. I mean, fuck, we can do it ourselves if we want. McTavish was gonna make the attack anyways on the hunters. We'll take his ass there with us too. We don't have to tell him we're saving Rose. We'll just tell him the hunters are hitting a new place. Vulnerable. More vulnerable than their own hideout. What happens if it's Layla? Well, we then we take Rose and we get the fuck out. We I just, just want to know. I just want to make sure the Coterie has a plan for both both options. And, so, and worst case scenario, we leave McTavish behind. I guess the third and the last option is what if a, a, a Lupine hits it before they either of them get to it? Well, that's kind of why because we're staking it. But we're staking yeah. it, right? It's like we would yeah, wait no, to make know, sure but, it's the right yeah. people. Unless for some reason the lupine hit while the hunters hit and it just becomes fucking World War Three. Honestly, that would not be bad. Just let them fight it out. But Unlikely, but yeah. Uh, I, I think if it's the the shitty hunter cell, we fight them. Or the gang girl fight them. If it's Layla or Lupine, we grab Rose get and get out. the fuck out. And what happens if all of our efforts are for not, and Rose still dies? Well, then we gave our best effort. The whole coterie showed up to save her ass at just the right time, and not even we were successful. Sounds to me like the Oracle should have seen that coming. Oops, I don't know Rose what happens. Dies. But here's the thing: if Ava does nothing, she has no leg to stand on. If you at least show up. It means you were there and you tried. She won't die. She might. If she wouldn't, she wasn't meant to die. This Mom wouldn't be calling in favors. This is a win-win scenario. On it for us, anyways. One way or the other, we show up when the attack happens. We save the day, or at least we showed up to try. And it's more evidence that her power isn't fucking everywhere. She can't just fucking she, save Rose on her own. Right. Oops, sounds to me like she lost something. There'd be many reasons for that, but... But, yeah. that being said, I think we should... I should go see if McTavish wants in. I'm not going to ask all the gang girl. You're right. I think that's yeah. going to be a, li a, a hot-to-trot item. But yeah. this gang girl, as always, will show the fuck up. So the next time I get to look her in the face and say, I saved your little precious rose. All right. We need this Should we win. get make? Yeah. Are we doing this tonight or yeah, tomorrow uh, night? Whenever they hit, so we need to be ready all the time. I say we get in the van, we can stake out the block, and wait to see okay. who attacks and when. All right. Let's do this then. Is uh, Dakota going to be maintaining bird form for each night, kind of watching? Yeah, I would watch or... at a distance and like keep them at a block, because we don't want to cue Rose or the hunters where they are too soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then Absolutely. I can just I can kind of go back and forth between and say, oh, did the hunters leave? Oh, and then I can come back and let them know that they're on route or whatever. Like we can stake out the area from the air and the ground, really. Okay. Um, Anything else I should know before I make a quick roll? I think Dakota would try to just contact McTavish and tell him the new plan that like the hunters attacking them on their own territory seems extremely dangerous. And that we okay. have changed the plan because it looks like they're going to make an attack on somebody else's territory and we're going to 
you know you can pass messages along through Edith or trusted Perfect. individuals of Edith that get to McTavish, so you don't have to worry about meeting up with them specifically. Uh, so then, as that goes on, uh, you're going to be staking this place out uh, each night until something happens. First, I need to roll. Gear up, everybody. I finally see an end to this. I was about to say, when we hit a new night, I'm going to, I need to... Second so night. We are on the second night, so everybody make a rouse check. Yep. Oh, on shit. that night, nothing happened. All right, let me, I'm going to roll, let me rouse. I might be Thank hungry. Yeah. Oh, I succeeded that one. Ooh. I'm gonna no need one to got feed. any hungrier. Oh uh, yeah, you may make your year feed off of your domain. Um. Okay. Perfect. Which I think is a difficulty of like a one or a two for you guys at this yeah, point. Uh, I'll just roll my. And quick I want to roll feed. just a one d two for odds or evens. Um. Oh, I did only get a one success. That was really bad for me. Uh, I am about yeah. Eight, uh. So yeah. I mean, but it, because it's it's considered easy difficulty in your own domain, one success is all you need. All right. Maybe there are less homeless dudes or drunk dudes out tonight for me to munch sure. on. But I just need one. I'm gonna feed two hunger off of him. Okay. Fantastic. <sighs> Everybody else good on their hunger that like you don't need to feed or anything. Uh, uh I was gonna feed. Um. <laughs> Do it up. I rolled my subterfuge charisma. Oh. To, oh. Wow. And I messy critted. You I have successes. Critical. Uh, but you are your hunger's at what? It's at three. Okay, so you're not really at any risk of falling into automatic frenzy. Um, messy crit while feeding. I don't know if that actually does trigger. I don't. Uh, as long as I don't kill anybody again. Let God. me just double check. <laughs> We've had too many. The season we've well actually yeah Code because and I have technically too many a messy people. success is it means the beast wins not necessarily you individually uh, um so uh I will have to have you make a I'm gonna have I'm gonna make it a resist hunger frenzy roll as though you were at four hunger but it's not gonna put you in a hunger frenzy it's just gonna dictate whether you kill this guy or not oh wow okay so you succeed you do nice. not end up killing him you bring him to as low point as you possibly can. Um, even because what, what was your hunger at three? So you even technically overfeed you, you take three dots of hunger instead of the two, bringing them at just above barely with shallow breaths. And while the last drop is so tempting, you can feel the inside, the snake slithering, wanting to be sated. You're able to keep your mind about you in that moment and keep them at basically barely above alive. Cool. Okay. okay. Uh, I mm -hmm. did you need to feed Ollie or are you good? Oh yeah, I fed. Okay, cool. I just uh, have one point to drop. Okay. Oh, okay, that's fine. Fantastic. Uh, all right. Any uh, so you in, in in the way this is being set up, obviously Dakota, you're taking bird form. So please make me a rouse check yep. if you're gonna be taking bird form. Um, Ollie and Ava, are you staying in the van like down the street, huh? or are you setting up in places like Ollie was on the roof? Um, because you're staying, you're watching the club, right? Yes. And and Dakota can kind of make back and forth paths. To at um, least the the warehouse and back. I know Dakota suggested maybe like the sewage, uh, or like coming through there, the back alley that leads into mm -hmm. the bathrooms that basically has a a, t a little uh, vent you crawl through. Yeah, that's an option if you wanted to do that. Or like I said, when they bust open doors, you could just run in the front if you wanted to, Ava, or do crowd management. I mean, it's whatever you want to do. Um, I. Ava will probably stick to the crowd management. And I will just say being... we're gonna want the car nearby when I take her. Or yeah. Like when we grab her, because uh, we're gonna need yeah. a way to move her. Yeah. So I'll stay in the van and stay close by, um, and just watch. Uh, if Ollie wants to stay with me, or Ollie wants to take to the shadows and obfuscate. I um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take the route that Dakota suggested, and I'm gonna go uh, invisibly. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you're gonna be moving while invisible, that's one that requires a rouse check, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Good. Fantastic. You do not get any hungrier. And uh, you take, you said, like, to the sewers, you're going to head down there. I'm going to the sewers and then move up through that vent. There. And okay. I'm just going to, basically, I'm just going to sit invisibly in the bathroom, which sounds really weird saying out loud, but <laughs> I'm doing it. All right, you're in their bathroom. That's fine. You're kind of hanging out, uh, seeing who comes and goes. Uh, so then first, I would want a wits awareness, we'll say from Dakota. Okay. Um... Okay, so in this form, 
We said it was a. I'm gonna have to get the character sheet ready. Like for seventy this. ten, I think you it said. Was if you no, if you ten. Okay. And the bird, because it's my two plus the six. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, not very Beautiful. good. I got three. No, no, you rolled three successes. That's still very good. You can re-roll uh, three of those if you would like. Um, man, I've already roused. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'll, it's a willpower. So that I would be down for. Yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and spend a willpower, um, and re-roll three of them. Another two, so that makes five. Fantastic. The five is is excellent. Dakota, it's not that you swing by the warehouse and they're loading up on people and they're all gone in one giant truck. You make multiple passes over the course of two or three hours. You watch as initially you don't necessarily pick up on it, but after maybe the second flyby, there's less and less people. And with the five successes, you note when just the first two are missing. Hmm. Maybe they went to the bathroom or maybe they went on patrol. But on your next flyby, another one. And then if you fly by again, another three. And their numbers seem to be dwindling slowly over time as opposed to all at once. Okay. What then? What she does with that information is up to her. Say that last part You could again. hover. So you basically you're watching over the course of, I would say 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. You watch like uh, slowly every time you pass by, there's just less people there and less people there. They're not going all, if they are going to the club tonight, they're not all going in one giant car. They're going slowly, a few at a time or one at a time. Okay, so they're they're slowly. Okay, do I get? Yeah, the, the, you're, you're slowly slow, seeing numbers they're disappear. They're slow rolling into the club. Mm -hmm. Is what they're gonna do. That's what. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Okay, then I will there. immediately when I learn this information, fly back to let them know that the attack is. They are working towards it. They're okay. basically slowly working their way into the club to infiltrate. And I. Guess uh, Ava would be the Ava. easiest one to get a hold of, as Ava is in the staying in the in the van area and kind of keeping an eye on the streets there. Yeah, then I'll so, give her like a tap tap on. The, I'll land on the hood long enough to be like two taps means the hunters yeah. or the hunters. It might even make. Might even make. It's a heavy <laughs> weight landing on the car, and so you like. Oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to get used to that, Dakota. Um, so you hear her tapping. Yeah, you hear uh, two taps. Uh, I think two taps meant they're. Coming. Uh, I think that's what you said. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, great. Uh, I give the bird a thumbs up. <laughs> and the and... bird can't carry a walkie, but do you have a communication? This is a way for you and Ollie to communicate. Uh, I was going to just go into the oh, club yeah, yeah, yeah. and I know he's hiding in the bathroom. So I'll like saunter my way into the club and into the bathroom. And yeah, uh, I won't make you make any rolls to get in. Getting through has become a game for you as to whether you can get into Rose's club or not. And almost mm -hmm. always you can get in. Uh, so you make your way in and um, you make your way into the, a bathroom. bathroom. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, what, uh, I mean, like, I do. Is Ollie some... going back and forth between bathrooms? Like, no. I just, no, no. Okay. Just... Ollie's, he's just going to kind of be blind. Yeah. yeah. I, I say some code word that we've come up with, um, like, oh, I can't find my favorite red lipstick. Uh, and <laughs> Or you can walk into the men's bathroom and just be like, oops, wrong bathroom. And yeah. that could easily be it as well. Yeah. Uh, um, whatever the case. Yeah. Yeah. What would Ava choose? It's Ava's choice. I'll mine. go into the wrong bathroom because I assume okay. Ollie's in the men's restroom so ollie um, sitting in and above the toilet essentially watching people constantly file in to piss themselves uh sober as best they can before getting more drinks to put into their system eventually you hear ava's unmistakable voice ring out over it and simply say oh wrong bathroom whoops and strides out which is the indication that the hunters are are making their way in slowly but surely mm -hmm. um can you make me ollie a, a wits awareness check yeah I mean, I can try. Yeah. <laughs> Three successes. Three successes is quite good. Um, and as always, do, I must ask, do you want to spend a willpower and re-roll three? <laughs> no, no, good. I'll hold it. Oh, you can only re-roll. No, yeah, you can re-roll three. Uh, so you sit in the bathroom, and, and again, as you hear Ava's voice and maybe even see her just barely as you are rather fucking tall, um, are you like taking up like a stall and keeping it locked and just being like, just making no, sure honestly, nobody I'm, comes I'm in? I'm probably like sitting in the corner. Yeah. Like, okay. Just kind of doing my thing in the corner watching. Um, Ava, well, I, Ava said that you didn't see anybody from that camp, from the warehouses, make their way into the bathroom. Yeah. Um, however, as Ava leaves, somebody does stride in. 
it is a recognizable face, not because they're from the warehouse, but it's an individual you've seen in cahoots with Layla once or twice. Oh, fuck. Does it mean she's here? And you know specifically, Ollie, when Layla operates or she sends her mooks out to operate, they always operate in low numbers, unless it's something huge. But they're much more individualistic hunters, much like uh, your son was, Rowan was, uh, than group hunters like a government cell. It could just be here scouting. It could mean anything. But only Ollie notices it because only Ollie has seen these faces before. And you just see some guy, he went to the bathroom, won over, washed his hands, rolled up his sleeves, and is about to leave. The bathroom's pretty busy, so it's not like you're alone uh, in the bathroom where you could like, grab him, but you could follow him. If the bathroom's busy... Yeah. Um, I mean, you could bust a toilet. Man, I'm really not going to try to do that. I mean, uh, <laughs> it would just <laughs> empty out the bathroom. Yeah, I... I think... Sure. I'll follow. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to make you another wits awareness. As, as soon as you see him, I imagine you kind of stand up and stride out. Yeah. You follow him out to the dance floor. He doesn't go dancing. He actually cuts directly through it, moves over to the bar, and uh, flags down the bartender. Uh, quickly asks for a, a beer, and a beer slid over. He then leans against the bar and begins to drink and keep eyes on everything. He seems to just be quietly watching in a club that is uh, just packed with people uh, enjoying their night this evening. Um, he's, you know, he's only there. I, I don't know if you wait for a while, but, you know, it's only he's there for at least a few seconds as he begins to drink his beer. Is there... Is there, um, like, a pen and, like, a receipt book or anything? Oh, cards definitely. or something like that? Absolutely. You have uh, something where there's pens, kind of like a cup of pens, so people can fill out and sign their name for, you know, paying their cabs and stuff easily. And grabbing any piece of paper or whatever is within a easy grasp for you, even a napkin nearby. Okay. Um, can I? Can I do that? Mm -hmm. And I think. I think I'd like to write. Um, leave. Getting hit. Okay. So we see him write that, and as he finishes that last line, and our camera zooms in on the pen, and he uh, kind of writes that last letter of that last word. Dakota, after you've returned and passed along the information, what is it exactly that you're doing? Are you going to continue kind of going back and forth between the warehouse and the club, or do you change tactics in the moment? You, s They're headed this way. Yes. Then I would probably pitch myself on a nearby tall building that overlooks her club and just kind of try to hide almost like a gargoyle still on sure. the edge of a building so nobody's like, oh, look at this fucking bird. Um, give me a give me a, a, a deck stealth check. Um, I'm not looking for a high number because you'll be really high up. There's a building that Ollie used to stake this place out. That was about four stories, I believe. Might have been three. Yeah. Uh, that was high enough and kind of out of the way where not a lot of people saw him. Okay. Uh, can do. One, two successes. Not very many. Two successes. You could willpower and reroll three. Your cho choice. Um, you you basically consider you cleared what's considered normal difficulty. That's fine then. I'm just trying to like yeah. I'm just eyes you on. Perch worst up. case, I fly away. Right. Like yeah. Yep. Okay. So you perch up and you keep eyes. And uh, are you looking for anything in particular? I am looking to. Uh, like um. I identified at least some of the cars. Maybe when the last yeah. ones, or I just really want to be here when it goes. You just want to make sure you see them arrive. Yeah, and or yeah. whatever happens, happens. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Uh, because of you again, the benefits of being a bird. Even though you've gone back and forth a couple of times, you still are able to perch up well before any of them arrive. Uh, and you see one of the cars that you saw there parked that went missing the first time. Stroll on up. It takes a quick park right right by the building, like many cars are, are have done over the course of like the past 10, 15 more minutes. And the door opens while a uh, a female and a male both pop out. They walk up to the front of the line and they speak to the bouncer. And it looks like the bouncer checks to see their name on a list. They are supposed, uh, at least seemingly, as they are allowed past the line and into the uh, into the club itself. If you continue to wait. Maybe another 10 minutes pass before another car drives up. And this time, just a single male jumps out. But this time, instead of actually going up to the bouncer, he stands in line and joins the rest of the common crowd. 
Does Dakota want to do anything after this, or does she continue to wait and watch? No, I mean, our cue is their attack, so I'm waiting yep, until they do you. something. Ava, you're in the dance floor at this point. You've gone to the bathroom, you gave Ollie a signal, and you imagine he's at least doing something that needs to be done. Um, what does Ava want to do during this time as she waits? Are you looking for familiar faces? Mm -hmm. you, does Ava, did Ava ever go to the warehouse? No. So she doesn't really know what to even look. These, these faces are blind to her. No, um, I think the only thing I'm going to do is I am good at uh, influencing crowds. So I'm going to just kind of stick out or stick around um, and see if anything bad starts happening. I'm going to try to like take care of it. Um, um, so do you want attention to the point where Rose probably finds out you're in the club because she'll mm -hmm. likely reach out in some fashion. You She has every time you've arrived. This is true. And that would. Be so make because because making yourself kind of central to the crowd would draw the eyes of security and eventually I'm sure Rose if she Rose sees her. yeah um I would hold off on that um so I'm just gonna I'm going to watch the crowd now and just okay see head over to the anything. bar order yeah. oh drink so Ali as you finish writing that you actually see Ava striding over she's maybe three or four seats down from the individual you're kind of nearby uh, and you see her order her drink our camera blurs uh, pans over from Ava to the note that gets slid in front of the gentleman with a beer. He looks down to the note nonchalantly, keeping a stoic gaze, doesn't pick it up, doesn't drink from it. And um, simply as his eyes read it, you clearly see his eyes read it. He looks back up, his eyes look around for a moment, and then he takes another sip. It doesn't seem to move, at least not right now. Um, while he's like mid swig, I'm gonna take it back. I I don't want. Okay. Yep. You, you the the the, you, the napkin gets pulled away and essentially you crumple it and it vanishes. No one really notices. Everybody's too drunk and too entertained by the music and the dancing to notice the the napkin kind of vanish away. And just wait. If he's not gonna bite, then that's okay. on him. After about uh, give I uh, need you to make me Ollie another wits awareness check. Yeah. A little stakeout. This is not where I, I'm enjoying mm. this. High Three tensions. successes. Three successes. You'll notice walking through the front door, as I described to Dakota, the first two that arrive, the ones that pass through security instantaneously. You are most familiar with these faces more than anyone else within the coterie themselves. The three successes is more than enough for you to catch eyes on it. two of them enter. After, if you, uh, do you do anything or do you wait? Wait. Okay. After another... Maybe 15 minutes pass, another individual comes through uh, as though security, and then another pair eventually wander in, making for a total of five that you've seen come in, plus this one individual that's on Layla's. Now, you don't know if any more are coming in, but after they come in, maybe about five minutes or so pass before the, uh, the Layla individual finishes his beer, places it down, puts some cash on the table for the tab, and begins to walk. So you have two options. Trail those who just came in the front door or trail this individual and see where he goes. I can't reasonably let them do this alone, so I've got to I got to stay. I'm going to trail the people that just came in. OK, so you're going to break away from the Layla individual and yeah. trail the others. Uh, you uh, who do you trail out of it out of out of the five I described the first pair, the last pair or the individual in the middle? The. Let's go with the, the guy in the middle. Okay, cool. Uh, the guy in the middle makes his way into the dance floor itself. Uh, you actually give me, uh, can you give me one more wits awareness, please? Mm -hmm. Five. Another three successes. Damn. Oh, wow. Successes. No, yeah, you critical. Holy crap. Uh, messy critical technically, but this is a wits awareness. It's very difficult to make that super messy. Um, as you follow him to the dance floor, you watch him reach into uh he, he carried a drink out there of course he's uh, got a uh, just a uh, what do you call it um <laughs> he's got like another fucking like bud light in his hands and he's drinking and dancing kind of casually and every so often he brings his hand up to take a swig but you realize on maybe the first or you know, with five successes on the first attempt on this first swig underneath his uh hand there's a small object it's hard to tell but it sticks out because it's not part of the the uh bottle of beer whatsoever and he right. seems to mumble something uh -oh. when he takes his drink into his palm of his hand. Right. As he brings his hand down, if you wait, another couple minutes pass, he's 
clearly looking around as he's dancing. Uh, again, you rolled five successes. You can see him kind of watching certain corners. Sure. And as you follow his vision, you do see the two that you recognize over there. Then he makes a drink, says something, looks over in another direction. And there's another, the other pair over there, though they're separated in two different tables, pulls up the beer, says something, takes a drink. And you're starting to notice a pattern. So I can see everyone. You've definitely got eyes on the people. Yeah, uh, you've definitely got clean eyes. And they're setting up in a way that uh, you would consider probably pretty strategic. There are a couple of people over by the stairs where the bouncer are. Uh, there's, there's a couple. Uh, there's an individual over by the bar saying uh, close to the bartender himself. You've got another couple people up front where another few bouncers are. They're uh, they're separated in a rather tactical way. Fine. I um, I'd like to go. Can I make it to the second floor? You stay invisible, and uh, yeah, there's nothing that stops them. Now, granted, you are still going to be caught on camera. Did you take the talent that like technology no. breaks? Okay, so you know that the camera will see you, but none of the people will see you. Right. So it'll be well past security, like closed down by the time they realize what happened with you. So yes, is the answer under that caveat that your character would be aware of. Yeah. So you, you make your way past the bouncer and up the stairs. And as you kind of reach the crest of the stairwell and our vision that lingers over your shoulder sees it, you actually see at the end of the hall, taking a left into one of the VIP rooms, the Layla individual. Really? You lost track of him when you separated to take care of these guys. Oh, I but thought you he was see leaving. Him. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. He just he got up from the bar, finished his drink, and wandered away from the bar. Okay. Um I miss I'm my apologies. I might have worded that poorly. Then can what are the odds I can get up there with him if he's entering a VIP? Yeah, um, you would have to just make me a like a a Dex athletics check to get up to the door before it closes and locks behind you. Sure, that's not bad for me. It's the same as my. And you could rouse check and add two d ten to it if you'd like. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Good idea. Dakota, nice. What are you doing at this point? So from this height, can I see what the t top of her building looks like? Absolutely, it is a uh, flat yes. roof with an access point um, that looks like one of those flat steel trap doors that yeah, yeah, likely yeah. has a lock like a on the outside. Door, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep, yep. Oh wow, beautiful roll. Uh, nice. We'll get to that in a minute. But yes, there is a flat roof over there. You could it is one story shorter than the building you are currently watching it from. Um, so you can see it very clearly from up here. No windows or outside access points except for the front door and the back door. Yeah, there's there's windows, but they're barred, you know, mm -hmm. they're you know, like yeah. very heavily secured. Okay. All right, that's all I needed. I'm I'm just I haven't heard gunfire. I haven't heard anything insane, nope. so I'm not really. And you've got a count of te seven total that arrived from uh, the warehouse. Seven from the warehouse. And that's okay. when it seems like they've stopped, at least for now. Okay. So they didn't send everybody, but they sent a chunky a number. A chunk, about half. Yeah, okay. Yep. Hmm. Uh, Ava, what are, are you doing in this particular moment? Um. Mm -hmm. I mean, here's, yeah, so there's plenty of options, but so what, what is Ava doing? You're, you're, again, you're in the dance floor. You've you're not sure where Ollie is. He's staying invisible. Yeah. Uh, you do know that Dakota's outside somewhere. She hasn't come inside, at least, and made any note. Um, yeah. What What would Ava be doing at this particular point? Uh, it's hard to say because uh, I don't recognize any of these, any of these people, because um, I've seen them the least. So I. Honestly, I'm going to just wait for Ollie to make a move because if there was something he needed me for, he, he knows where I am. So um, he can signal to me what the next move is. Um, so I'm going to kind of stay put for now and and wait it out until something happens. Okay. I just need to look up something real quick. Okay. Um, Ollie. You zip ahead with five successes. Your gait is as, as long. You're a large, very tall individual. And you're, uh, again, a former boxer. You move with very quick speed that, that would surprise quite a few people. And you uh, kind of couple that with your kindred supernatural talents. And getting to the door and able being able to slip in just before it shuts, especially, again, being Ollie, you're able to do it. 
as you slide in and the door clicks behind you, you realize the room is empty barring this one individual. He sits down comfortably and as uh, he almost seems to be waiting for something. And after a couple minutes, the door, you hear the beep uh, of the door, it unlocks and a server simply walks in. Can I get you anything today, sir? He simply shakes his head. No, no, thanks. And as he does the does so, she's like, I'll leave you with your, uh, I'll leave you to your privacy if you need anything. She just points over to a button that'll call a service over. And she smiles and nods and he kind of nods stoically. After she steps away, the door shuts and locks again. And it's at that moment, he begins reaching into his jacket pocket in the front. He's wearing a nice suit. He blends in rather nicely with the clientele that work here. And he begins to pull out pieces of a firearm. First, a rather large silencer. And then from the bits of his other jacket pocket, a large, what seems to be uh, parts of the des of a desert eagle. Mm. He begins piecing it together slowly and methodically, checking his work each and every time before the final bit of screwing a silencer this long onto it finishes. Afterward, the, he... Nobody's, nobody's come through whatsoever. How? Yeah, you don't even know how he got a gun through here. Um... He, and I know for certain, after having had heard her, that I didn't see anybody else from, from Layla's crew. Nope, just this guy. Just this guy. And I know for certain that Ava is inside the facility. Yes. You, yep. you didn't see her come on the second floor, though. You, she was somewhere on the first floor. After he's finished putting his gun together, he pulls his jacket open. You can see on the side a holster for it that he slides yep. it into. And then he pulls his jacket shut, kind of tightens it, pushes the button, sits down, and looks like he's just kind of chilling for a little bit. Okay, I'm going to wait. Okay. As you wait, eventually another 10 minutes pass. And uh, at that point, he stands up, and he looks like he's about to leave. He strolls to the door and presses a button that unlocks it from the inside. The door slides, uh, swings open, and he looks like he's about to walk out. Did he leave anything behind? No. He came no. in here, put the gun together, piece by piece, checked it, made sure he's good, works uh, with, made sure he was loaded, put the gun in his jacket, waited a few minutes, and then left. Did he finish his beer? He didn't even, oh yeah, he finished the beer downstairs, but he didn't have okay. any drink up here. He didn't have anything up here. He just mm -mm. got into a VIP room. All right, yeah, that's... That's exceptionally weird. It feels kind of bizarre that people make it up to the VIP rooms. Um, mm -hmm. uh, he's yeah. uh, testing the waters. He's trying to see. This is mm. a trial run. Yeah, this isn't the hit. This is just staking. Staking it. Trying to, yeah. He wanted to see if he could get the gun in, put it together, and get up to the VIP room all in one night. Mm. Yeah, I this bet. isn't it. Okay. Or something um, spooked him. Mm. I I bet it's a letter that he got on a napkin is what spooked him. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how many other VIP doors are up here? Uh, there's a total of five. Five. So four others, including the one you were in. Can I hear noise in any of the others? Uh, wits awareness, you may make me. Yeah. That's a weird way of phrase like Yoda. <laughs> wits awareness, you may make me. <laughs> and I try and may. Four. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Uh, only one other room has seems to have a conversation happening in it out of Any, the other four. If I ear to the door, anything? Uh, it's a, initially it's giggling, and then there's a clear, uh, a clear three separate voices in there two females and a male. And it sounds like drunken flirting for the most part. Um, not a whole lot, uh, let's just say meaningful conversation, right? Okay. <laughs> um, then back down the steps. Okay, do you want to keep an eye on him or do you let him kind of go? Yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on him. Okay. He makes his way back down the stairs, but he doesn't leave out the front door. He actually goes back to the bar, orders another beer. This time, as the beer comes, he grabs it with his hand. And as he takes his first few swigs, he doesn't lean on the table. He actually stands at attention, takes a couple of swigs, and then with confidence, strides into the crowd. Where is Ava? Can I see her? Uh, Ava on the first floor, she's not using presents or anything like that, but should someone look for Ava, her beauty is beyond that of any mortal, and her striking red dress is hard to miss. You can see her probably mingling with a couple of guys or uh, a guy and uh, maybe a couple girls just flirting with them. Um, nothing that you haven't seen Ava done a thousand times. Right. 
Um, can I can I get over to her and just? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I just I just want to say. Uh, I'm just gonna say Layla. That's the only way that I know how to. I'm just gonna drum up some some pressure here and say Layla. Okay. Uh, and I'm also gonna say other hunters. Okay. Um. I have no idea where where Dakota is. I'm guessing that she's outside. still maintaining vision. So yeah. like. I'm trusting they have some means. She's of waiting to hear somehow. something before she goes in. Yeah, I'm not gonna come, sco literally swooping in until I know yeah, that yeah, there are yeah. that there's an actual attack happening. So that's what we're waiting on. I'll yeah. pass that information along, and then I'm gonna get away back over to where I can see this guy at. Okay. Ava, do you do anything with that information? Uh, no. Okay. Other than I'm just gonna like look out to see if I see anybody oh, yeah, that yeah. looks like a I Layla need, person or a I need a witch awareness from Ava and Ollie. Ava, it's gonna be a bit of a higher difficulty for you because yeah. you don't know faces like Ollie does with these people. Yeah. Um I, holy crap, Ola. I don't dude. even know what's Ollie's happening. Ollie's incredible so rolls. Good holy crap. Six yeah. successes. Yeah. Ollie, you watch as two of the figures and individuals that you recognize from the crew up north head over to one of the bouncers guarding the stairs, the only bouncer guarding the stairs, and within his eye shot, start fighting each other. It seems like it's a, oh, someone shoved him, there were some words exchanged, and then some punches are getting thrown, immediately drawing the attention of the bouncer near the stairs. He steps okay. aside to try and start, separate the fight, but it's he seems it's very difficult for him to do so. He actually calls for help. And one other person from upstairs trails quickly all the way down the stairs. And in that moment, two individuals quickly slip by and run, uh, basically as quickly and quietly as they can, start heading up the stairs. This looks like uh, her people? Yeah, no, the warehouse people. People the from the north. I'm yes. gonna... Not Layla's people. Okay. Layla's guy um, is in the bar, uh, still drink. Uh, you said what you were watching him? I can I? Lighting, sorry. That's fine. Can I um? Can I leap yeah. the steps? Uh, so my question to you, sorry, was: Are you going to keep watching the Layla guy, who's kind of in oh, the no. dancing crowd? No, okay, if, okay. if if I'm under suspect that this guy is is currently maintaining like watch, watchful yeah, gaze, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take action and try to like quickly leap the steps. Okay, yeah, you wanna you wanna leap? Uh, yeah, yeah. You can make me a Dex athletics or strength athletics roll. Um, I can't remember because it's a it's a strength based ability, soaring leap. So I think it's strength. Um, just jump a huge amount of fucking you know whatever i don't know why i make you roll. it's that five thing. times my potence level horizontal yeah yeah you just jump yeah you can easily jump from where you are to there yeah uh ava with two successes you see the fight break out you yeah. see a fight break out it looked like it looked natural to you but in that moment as the uh bouncers are pulled away you do catch somebody quickly dart up the stairs it's hard to see through the crowd you're not fully paying attention there because you don't really know what you're looking for but you swear you see the fight which draws your attention to the corner of your eye you swear you see somebody dart up the stairs it's not like it's a huge amount of stairs to go up so it was really fast yeah um but uh yeah you kind of catch that ollie Ava leaps silently nobody can see him yeah. just from where he is on on the ground and then with a just kind of crouch and a jump kind of ripples up a few feet and lands at the very top of the stairs you see them uh, half, we'll say walking with intent down the hall to the very end where you know Rose typically keeps herself. Is there like a wall or partition that stops vision from like the public? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. Nobody can see from the first floor into the hallway uh, from there. They can only see like uh, just the, the, the balcony at the top, I guess you would call it, where people can drink kind of publicly in the balcony yeah, at the yeah, top. Yeah. But then there's a whole ass fucking like door that's with a with, like blur glass on it that sure you can't see through. Are there cameras? That area. There's a camera on the very front that shows people entering and exiting the door itself. Okay. So then it's just blurred glass, hallway, glass, door. Lock, you know, yeah, us the usual shit. Okay. Um, it's missing, a, uh, it's missing a, a bouncer because he's downstairs helping the other guy. All right. Um, then it's if these if they, do they have a weapon drawn? You know, you didn't see weapon drawn, but that I know it's I know it's her guys. You know, it's the guys from the north, the warehouse. Scarlet. The, the Scarlet Scarlet's yep, guys. Yep. Um, I'm guessing they're sort of single file. Yeah. 
run like okay. again walking with intent because there's still people up here they, they can't do anything until they get to where they're trying to go and none of the bouncers have reacted to them bolting up the stairs well no because they got distracted by the fight that they were trying to fit to split out and they weren't they didn't see him go through nobody's seen it i'm it's okay all right then i am going to i'm gonna follow them i'm gonna wait till they get to the door and, and I'll, right. I'll act when they push that door ava uh, Ava's getting a little antsy and uh, seeing this quickly in the corner of her eyes, she is going to uh, politely move away from this group she was talking to and begin to head toward the stairs. Okay. Can you give me a wits awareness, please? Yeah. What the Whoa! fuck? Jesus. Three Christ. tens? Three eight, eight, eight successes. Or four tens. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, four tens. Oh my tens. God! What uh, do I see? <laughs> more, more than I was initially going to tell you. Um, <laughs> as, you get, as you make your way to the first stair and you take a step up, you gaze around the room. I'm sure the fight's already being broken up as they're being tossed out to the uh, front door. You said you're going up the stairs. Yeah, I would make my way up the stairs. Yeah. You kind of gaze over to the bar uh, and you just see a few people getting a couple of drinks. But in a moment where nobody seems to be looking, in a brief second. While you work, as he serves that last drink and that last individual turns around, you watch as the bartender gets yanked down and completely vanishes from your sight. Because again, the bar's up against a wall and there's like definitely a door there and you just see him go get pulled through the, basically what you assume is the door into the kitchen area. Okay. Um, oh, what do I do? The, mm, I... I think I'm going to, how far is? Equal distant from where you are right now. The stairs and this door are completely equal to where you're at. I think Rose is top priority in making sure she doesn't get killed. So Absolutely. I, to me, that means something is happening um, and I get even more nervous. So I'm going to just keep you make your way up the stairs, keep going toward the stairs. Yeah. <clears throat> Ollie, as they re uh, reach the end of the hall and they both reach for the door, you see, it is it is locked, and that's when you see one of them pull out a silenced pistol and shoot and, and put kind of the muzzle up against the actual door door handle and pull the trigger, and you can hear a little bit of a clang under the silence as the door then swings quietly uh... open. Okay, and. Swings quietly open. I'm basically right behind them at this point. Yeah. I mean, you're going to see what you saw before. It's it's uh, Rose's private VIP room. One decked out in luxurious thing, uh, in luxurious silk and wonderful couches and plenty of alcohol to, to, to spare sat in the corner. Uh, and as it continues, as it swings open, there's Rose sat looking rather surprised that the door is even opening, but two security guards that are in there as well. And if you don't do anything before they have a chance to say anything, the two people step in and take the stunned confusion of Rose and are yeah, both I'm, about to put down both of the security I'm gonna, guards. I'm going to grab uh, the one closest to me, the one that's like just behind the guy who yep. who, who pushed open the door. So it's uh, prowess into... Um, Strength brawl? Yeah, I'll just I'll just break this guy's neck. He only gets a 1d10, so I am highly doubt he's going to get to live. You got it. Let's see. Oh, God, I fail. Let's see what you roll. Uh, four successes. I will power it just okay. just to see. Yep. I want to. I really want to succeed on this. And you add? Are you do you do you have the power where you add five if you succeed? Yeah, okay. that's what that's that prowess yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're already at a lot. So four, two more successes. Five, six. Done. So total of eleven with the yeah. five. If you hit, well, minus one because they. Oh no, no, they failed. So yeah, it's eleven successes. Yeah. Please, what is it exactly that you do? Ollie just immediately like takes advantage of the the pressure of his forearm couples it up under the neck and you just hear a single pop as the he snaps at the vertebrae I'm just gonna uh and it's quiet his... and sudden so let me make a roll yeah they're kind of the other individuals kind of focus oh wow okay i rolled four successes um you hear the pop of uh their silenced pistol as one of the security guards drops and as they whip around they uh they they can they, they note rather just the the large lumbering figure in the door as they were about to pop the other security guard, but instead notice you. If I can, so, can okay. I take another action or is yeah, this? That's, yeah, that's that's the round. They they took out their they took out the security guard for their round. They didn't okay. know you were there. Um, so we're in the next round 
What is it? You, Ava, as you will say at the top of this round, Ava, Question. you're at the very... Does yeah, Dakota, Dakota see them toss the fight outside? Uh, yes, you would absolutely see the um, so security can, guard that, that at is, some point. Like, toss them out on yeah. the street, make yep. a little bit of a rustle. Okay, can I recognize those guys as one as the hunters? Absolutely, 100%. That, that, is, totally. that is the single I'll go off of. And I think I'm actually going to just dive off the roof down onto their roof and yep. break open the maintenance hatch. because. Are you diving and then, like, transforming back into Dakota? Nope, I'm just no? going to okay. take my very powerful little bird beak yeah. and rip that Give me, yeah. Give me a strength brawl check. Uh, can I, okay, strength, uh, yeah. Because you're just, like, done. trying to rip the fucking uh, lock off. This hasn't worked well for me. We're going to see how this goes. Uh, <laughs> come on! Uh, actually, it's I'm a gonna, cool visual, just, like, with one flap. I'm going to try to roll it off the glide. sheet I did for my bird form. We're going to see if it works. If it doesn't, I may have to re-roll okay. it. But Fingers crossed. Linked attribute physical. Hey, it does. Have five hey. successes. Wow. Five successes a, as you rip your uh, kind of wrap your beak around the lock with the one hard tug, the metal bends and the loud snap comes undone and the actual hatch is loose to open up. Okay, perfect. I just scoop my little, I use my head and like scoop my bird body up, up, up and yep. underneath it and, and just kind of waddle down the stairs or whatever this is enough to like get There's a ladder that goes straight down. Oh, so you would I just, just like... I just bird fly. Um, where am You're, I? Am I in like a ceiling loft area, like a catwalk? Hang on, hang on. My cats are fighting. Oh, okay. <laughs> Speaking of cats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> this is what Scared. I want. Please don't let her die. I have a plan, but I need to get her outside. Hmm. <laughs> Where are you in relation to us again? Are you on you're by the second floor or the first floor? I don't Dakota? know. That's what Mathis was just about to tell me. Oh, is where okay. I like came okay. in at, so I can see what I, see what I see. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> you pop down to the third floor, which is basically just mate, which is just mate, basically just maintenance shit, storage. Okay, so All it's like an attic crap. space, almost a crawl space. More or less, but like a well-built attic how space. Do, how do I get down? Is there like a ladder, an attic door? How do I get to the... Yeah, so yeah. there would be a door that leads to some stairs that quickly run down to basically uh, the left-hand side of the end of the hallway of the second floor. Which leads to the end of the... Yeah, down there. Well, next round you can get down there and you'll you be able said, to see... You said this is maintenance. Yeah, yeah. third floor is maintenance. There's an Second. electrical box around these parts. Uh, yeah, what's awareness? <laughs> Here you comes probably find one. Here comes one of Dakota's uh, ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> a six. Uh, yeah, you see an electrical box. Oh six. yeah, I bird walk over to this or like <laughs> glide over to this box. I like use my feet <laughs> to flip the box open, and I just rip the fuses right the fuck right. out. That's uh, we'll get okay. Well, that'll be the yeah. You you end time that whatever here. you want, but that's what Absolutely. Dakota's doing. So back to uh, Ava. Ava, you you reach the top and you actually see um the moment where the door opens and they're about to both step in. And just as the second was about to step in, as though he was always there, you actually see Ollie with Ollie. his arm wrapped around the other guy and his <laughs> head just snap back to the side in a way that it shouldn't and Hell can't. Yeah. And you watch the body go limp in real time. Uh, I'm gonna hustle my way down there. Yep, you can get um, down there, no problem. And uh, you, when you look in, you see a dead security guard on your right, on the inside, right hand side, on the inside, left hand side is an alive security guard, and at the very end in the room is Rose looking fucking confused. I make eye contact with her and I say, We need to go now. She uh wordlessly gets up and is about to obey. Um, oh, next cool round, Ollie. Uh, this person is aware of you and going to be able to defend themselves. Sure. They fucking can. Um, yeah. Go ahead and swing your punches. I'm going to put his head through the wall. That or that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, go Ollie. I mean, they, they're, they're built to take like a hit, but it's not like Ollie hit. Sometimes. Beat the it's shit out much. of him. Under the oh, same that's thing. a lot of Beautiful. dice and a lot of not successes. That's all right. I gonna I got will for days. I was Can like, I get... do, do you want a willpower? Because you got to decide before yeah. you know. Ten. One, so so fourth. four. That's four successes. Okay, and that's then... still good. Let's yeah. see if he defends himself. One, two. two. He does not. Uh, so he takes a total of five, six, seven total because he will negate two. Um, 
just what do you do? You just grab yeah, basically his skull like and as just... he like turns that hand to like shoot at me. I'm gonna bat the hand up with my left and just shove his head right through a wall. And as you bat the hand, you can actually hear his wrist crack and the sound of the pistol hit the the concrete wall before clattering to the ground. But before it can even reach the ground, the sounds of his skull meeting concrete instead are what our ears hear as his head gets stuck into the wall when you let his bring your oh. hand back and his body limp for just a couple of seconds before eventually the wall gives way. And on, as the concrete crumbles, so too does his body to the ground. Rose, without saying a word, is walking towards you with haste. She looks to her security guard and says, keep this place safe and clean. And looks over to Ava, then looks to Ava and, and looks to just like walks past the opening of the door. Mm, yes. A, I... As soon as you walk to the door, <laughs> the music stops lights go out and you can hear confused chatter and suddenly within a few moments whether it was panic or something else the sound of gunfire rings out from the first floor and then you hear screams as people are booking it out of this place obviously ollie you see the same and Ray rose looks over to uh not like in a panicked victim like manner but more in just like a give me the orders and I'm following you in this moment. Uh, I look to Ali. I'm going to take her the way you came in. Probably not a brilliant idea. Ooh, not a brilliant idea? Then which way should I take her? Can I Dakota, come, what are you doing at this can, point? Can I come, come down the stairs, stairs very actually, uh, proudly uh, in bird hear, form? Okay, okay. You hear <laughs> clack, 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 clack. Is there like the claws... stairs that look over the second floor where they can like see me? Oh yeah, no, the stairs lead right to the back of the hallway where they're at. Perfect, I go, right? <laughs> yeah, you hear a bird squawk. And I like, I, I, I bob, I bird bob my head. Uh, Okay, up then. Um, you go ahead. If you're okay. gonna go, take it that way. Okay, I will, I will just like grab Rose's arm and- Rose goes with, uh, and you begin walking up the stairs with, uh, um, with I, the bird. I tug at Ollie, the cuff of Ollie's like pant leg. Like, you're coming with us. I'm gonna vanish. <gasps> okay. I'm using vanish. Be a hero. If, I was gonna say if if a bird can shrug, like what the fuck am I supposed to do about it? The, yeah, yeah. Like, so the bird goes. Yeah. Because I have. And as I have as a you plan. make your way up the stairs, just as Ollie is vanishing, I'm, Ollie, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna follow them, but I'm I'm gonna vanish. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay, okay, okay. okay. I thought you were going down to the firefight. I was so, like, yeah, I'll lead them up and show them the way out to the oh, roof. Oh my god. Vanish. I, I have to rouse so I don't. And yeah, so you don't get hungry. How far out was the van? Well, I need, before you make your way up the stairs, I need a wits awareness from all three of you. Um, okay. Uh, wits is a, wits is a social. Oh, unfortunate. Where is it? Wits, wits is a Two, oh man, how many, how much willpower do I have? I'm going to okay. reroll. You can, yeah. I've got you can re four. I'm going to willpower as well. I only got two. I'd really like to not suck here. I only, right. in bird form, I only get Ava two willpower. Ava with one success so. total. I, I got guess, three successes. No, I'm holding onto my willpower because I'm gonna need it. Um, I I just get two. I'm just trying to get them the fuck up the stairs. Yeah, in the silence, only Ollie wouldn't. You don't see anything either. You just hear it. It sounds like footsteps coming up the stairs at the end of the hallway because the music is dead. There's no more noise. People are running out of the building, and most of the screaming is fading as most people are running out the front door. But you hear what sounds like a pair of footsteps making their way up the stairs down the hall. As you are rounding the stairs to leave, so you have sure. like the, so the decision. Only um, Ollie hears it because he's the only one that rolled three. What do I? Who do I see? While well, they're they're making their way do up. Do you to... pause and wait and to see yeah. who you around the corner? Uh, you see the, the, the well dressed line. gentleman that you believe to be of Layla's crew. It's just him. You just see him making his way up the stairs, not in a running way, but in a walking with intent way. Hmm. Is he going to Layla's office, or uh, to 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 Rose's, Rose's office? Well, one thing you realized is that the room that had chattering in it, nobody left when the electricity ran out, and you actually see him stop first door on the right. He listens for a moment. He seems to think his gun isn't drawn, um, but he does at that moment make a decision and he reaches for the door and is looking to pop that sucker open. Well, I know where they're on their way, right? Uh, the, I like the, the ladies. I know where all they're all going. They're going up the stairs. Yeah, where you were. Are going. you going to say I gotta at least I got to at least listen? Uh, OK, I was like, don't get involved. Just let them die. They're almost <laughs> over. Sure. No, give me a wits awareness because you would hear things as you were walking down the hall. Sure the wrong one and again i clicked the wrong one <laughs> there we go it's 
Wow. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Wow. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Eight. Holy oh my dice God. gods. I don't know what's <laughs> happening today. Uh, you make a couple of steps. You don't hear words. You don't hear a conversation. Before anything, you actually hear the very subtle sounds of a silenced gun go off. There's a quick muffled scream, a couple of them, before you hear a second one. And you see him walk out the door. You know there were three people in there. You heard two gunshots. And you hear uh, a dude screaming in there for bloody murder. Oh, God. Who is it? You I'm, walk, I mean, if I'm you vanished. Walk, I'm invisible. So I, if you, I'm like, saying, do you keep, if you keep walking, he makes his way down the stairs. He leaves the room and goes directly down the stairs. You walk into the room, and what you see is two piles of ash and a person screaming. Interesting. Piles of ash. Yeah, yeah, he shot he two just kindred. Did, he just killed two kindred. He blew the brains out. Yeah, yeah. yeah he just killed two kindred and left who, whatever human or kind they were yeah. with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's nobody I like, nobody I recognized, right? Like it'd be what I was hearing. The voices were not familiar to you whatsoever. Okay. All right. Then um, I'm with who haste, they are. I make, make my way up. Yep. up the, so you make your way point. up. And by the time you get up the stairs, Dakota and Ava, uh, what exactly is the plan uh, with Rose? It, does this door there? lock? The one that goes up to the third floor? Yeah. From the from this level? Yeah, it'll lock. But Ollie's down there. Do you want to lock him out? When he comes back through, I'd really like to lock that door. Oh, yeah. You can definitely do that. Okay, 100%. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. Either way, so, I'm like pointing like get yep. the fuck up on the roof they got to take the ladder in your high heels get moving Squat. <laughs> uh, okay <laughs> make your way up the stairs and as you get as you start around hearing the getting to the roof you can actually hear sirens growing closer oh god okay i have a plan i swear to god i have a plan so all of you make it all the way up eventually even ollie maybe 30 seconds behind it wasn't much you kind of ran to check things uh as you're at the top of the roof i what have the no plan? way to speak to you no or tell you what my plan is but no. I hope you all trust Dakota. As soon as we hit the roof, I take flight and grab Rose by her shoulders. She, when you do so, Rose actually like looks around. And she goes, when did you get a pet bird? And can I trust this thing? And I'm going to take <laughs> flight with Rose. I want to go to the highest point <laughs> where, I, where, where she can't be seen. Off you go. Uh, make me a strength brawl check to carry this this woman. You got it. That'll be nine dice, everybody. And you know what? For Do I have anything to add to you it? You are larger than your average bird. Oh, you know what? Because I'm Dakota Rain, can I ensure I don't drop her by using feral claws? Is that what it's called? And making my talons longer as they, like, dig into her shoulders. Do aggravated damage and to do her? do a little bit of aggravated damage just to her shoulders, though, and her dress, of course. I, let that happen. I just don't want her to, like, panic and me drop her because the last Strength thing you need is, like, check first, rose and then, salsa uh, on yeah. the concrete. And we'll say they're feral claws so you don't have to make any additional rolls at the cost of her I know that Ollie can grab Ava and jump to nearby roofs and get the hell out of here. Um, rose is difficult. Have an eight. Holy moly. I take her away. <laughs> Yep, you <laughs> cling in and you feel your claws pierce her flesh as thick vitae dribbles down from the wounds. And as she's mid-scream in pain, you with one fell swoop, our camera lingers down with Ava and Ollie, but the scream is like, ah! <laughs> it goes, vanishes into the air high above as Dakota just leaves. I don't, I would like to stay above average sight because I'm I'm a hawk oh, carrying yeah. a woman in the city. So I'm going to stay really high. Mm -hmm. a Rose will just have to deal with it. And I want to, mm -hmm. can we say that we had an agreement of where to meet when all this went, after all this went down? Where are we meeting everybody? I imagine it was Lights Out Pub, but. Can it not be the Lights yeah, Out I Pub? I was actually thinking uh. that the theater might be better. Yeah. It's I'm farther cool away that. and safer for a variety of reasons. So I'm going to fly her ass t all the way south. She's got like a 20 minute flight with me. With these claws dug in her shoulders all the way to the theater. Yep. You're going absolutely to the south. Ava and uh, Ollie, I imagine, would traverse in that general direction as well. Um, as we are growing short on time for this session, why don't we go ahead and just cut to the theater? And, you know, the traveling doesn't need to be too worrisome. And you're able to leave the, the, uh, the club as the cops are arriving from the gunshots heard on the first floor. And you make your way uh, to the theater. Obviously, Dakota would arrive first. Would you stay in bird form until everybody arrived? No, hell no. I'd drop her, like, in the back alleyway, just a little not gently, and then I would probably do some, like, dive out of bird form and back into yeah. Dakota. We, and give her the imagine we're on street trip. level, and we're looking up at an angular from to the sky, and we see the bird silhouette with the person, and as you draw closer to the ground, you just let her go <laughs> beforehand, 
And as you're about to reach frame, we see like your your talons turn to legs and you land with a running few steps as your dreads finish falling themselves out and you are back into your normal form. And you just hear after some uh, silence from the other side. Oh, it's the rat dog. Not anymore. Uh, uh, after maybe you another can 10 or so me minutes. Your winged savior. I just, I should have guessed. And yeah, uh, after maybe five more minutes or so, 10 more minutes, Ollie and Ava would arrive as well. Yeah, I would take her in downstairs to like. Down I where the, where the cell the was cell, and everything. But like, yep. you know, I take her down to our secure room. She's in no place to, even if she wanted to disagree, she is in no place to disagree. She could not stop you even if you were forcing her into the I cell. I put a, just a nice chair near the door and like put my sure. feet up and just, I just taunt her until they arrive. It doesn't take them long, but like I said, about 10 more minutes or so, they arrive. Do you want to have conversation above or above on the first floor? Or do you want to have conversation below near her? That's um, that's up when they get here. Y'all can tell me what you want, because I'm just here watching her, making sure she doesn't like bolt or do something stupid. <sighs> Let's go below. Wait, where she is. Yeah. Okay. You all make your way downstairs and she's standing in the cell quietly. She doesn't actually speak out when you all arrive. She just kind of waits patiently. I guess the thanks is owed. She thank can you. say thank you. Yeah. It must be a cold. I imagine day I owe you a boon now. Them. You owe them. Uh, whoever it is I owe, I believe I owe somebody a boon. I need to hire new security, better security. There really must be somebody out watching out for you, Rose. She gives like one of those half-hearted like uh smiles knowingly that you're just poking at her right now. Yeah. Guess we're both very lucky. You know, Ava, considering the facts, us saving her was kind of a favor wrapped in a fucking favor. Maybe it's time you and her ring up the old mommy and tell her you're safe and sound. I'm sure, Rose is capable of doing that, and she will at some point. I don't need to do it. I like, I kind of go over to Ava and I'm like, now's your chance. What if she tells Sybil someone else? You're gonna have to go in with her. I'm sure Rose will put in a good report. Oh yes, Rose, well known for good reporting. And, and I'm sure Whose side are you on, anyway? Mine. Same side as yours. Are you sure? I am. Ollie, you're quiet, and it's making me nervous. <laughs> what can I say? Not a fan of the present company. Well, feelings mutual. I'll remember that next time I see two goons kick in your door and kill your security guards. I said thank you, didn't I? Oh, yeah. It was real heartfelt. I'm going to go see if I can clean up the rest of your club. I she was... won't say anything. Since you're not necessarily the most trustworthy person, Rose, and you have to deliver good word for us on what Ava and Ollie just did to save you. So I think you get to stay locked in this cell until Sybil herself tells Ava that you came through with the truth of the story. Reason to even say her name out loud. Her what? name doesn't taste as bad as yours on my tongue. But yeah, here you stand. Trapped in our cell last time I checked. I said thank you. Oh, Rose. There's no amount of thank yous that make up for the amount of sludge you have left in your little snail trail. What is it that you dislike about me so very much, uh, Ava? Other than your tacky shoes, your misformed dress, and the fact that you can't run a business to save your life, or the fact you really need better mm. toilets, um, it's your attitude and your holier-than-thou presence, as if this city couldn't survive without you. When hey, you wanna... know it's a front, because the fact of the matter is this city would go on turning night after night, and you'd be dusted and nobody would sure? care. 
Are you sure, Miss Heloise, it's not simply just jealousy? Rose, don't play coy. You were the catalyst. Your club was the catalyst for everything that's happened to me moving forward. It was in your club where everything was set into motion with myself. Sure. And don't think that you didn't have a, a say in it, a bit, oh, it was just me and Saito doing our own thing. You wanted it to happen. You brought us to that club. Don't you worry. got us to, to meet each other. Saito was extremely willing, I promise. I didn't have to push him at all. Is that it? Am I just whatever and everything you wish you were? When she reports back to Ava that you told the truth of the matter, and Ava's off the hook for saving your measly, skinny, malnourished ass, then you can come out of your little cell. I think that is a fair deal to assure that you don't pull any of your, uh, basic shenanigans. You should also make sure there's no, uh, I'll, I'll turn the lights off. I'm going to do a Jackson and, uh, turn the lights make on, you mean? or turn the lights on so that there's no shadows anywhere. Yeah, you're not exactly <laughs> super shadow proof in here. And I don't think it's <laughs> built to be. <laughs> However, she's not making any attempts to escape. Okay. She actually will say, can I have a minute with Ava alone? Oh, this ought to be good. <sighs> uh, it's your ass, Rose. <clears throat> Oh, you want some cheesecake? Yeah. The two of you stride out upstairs, the door shuts, and she looks over to you, Ava. So be honest with me. Is it jealousy? Is it because I've had a relationship with the man you truly love? I got to experience life in a way you haven't. That our mother herself chose me over you? Hmm. I imagine she's told you by now. I am aware. You were supposed to be in our clan. Yes. And... See... And what happens when she didn't get you? She picked me instead. I think... It's funny, Rose. I think you're the one that's jealous of me. I'm the one that holds her shadow. I'm the one... That's the most important key in her plan. Not you. Me. Entertain me. What is her plan, hmm. Ava? I don't know. You're one of hers. <laughs> Shouldn't you know? Who says I don't? I'm curious what your little brain thinks is her plan. I'm not What's your about... grand role in it is, other than being the suitcase for a shadow? I'm a seer. I know. I see things that you can't see. I see things that Saito could never see. I see things that not even Sybil herself could see. I am as well. Gifted those powers by our mother, of course. I don't need to be a Lissambra. I have access to the same things you have. I have even more. I don't need to be you. I'm not jealous of you. Sure, I get petty. Sure, when you talk about the way you've been with Saito, it pisses me off. But that's nothing comparison to what is to come. And what is to come? What is your role in all of this, Miss? I'm Eloise? not going to sit here and tell you, Rose. I'm not playing your game. You're trying to get goad something out of me. And you've done it before. I'm not letting you do it again. I just think I may you be... may have delusions as to how important you truly are. Hmm. And you're here to inform me that I'm not. You know something more than I know. I said it already. I'm where you were supposed to be before someone came in and ruined everything, took you away from her. You are supposed to be where I am. Hmm. She made that very clear to me. Oh, well, I'm sorry that I took your place. I took yours. I think you're confusing it. You were supposed to be La Sombra. You weren't. She needed somebody to fill the role. Putting in simpler terms. Mm. Now you're just a baggage carrier. 
No better than a valet. Yeah. A useful one, just as any Porsche is important to those who own it. But once you're done yes. carrying that thing around, yeah, maybe you'll get recycled into something better. Yes, of course, which is why she offered me everything I could possibly want. No, it's not because I'm just a baggage. I'm uh, not just with insight, please, when you say that. <laughs> Uh, uh, what's insight? Oh, oh wow, you crit. <laughs> Messy crit. Not only do you catch it, but when you see, when you say like you, she offered you everything, she perks up. She takes note in a very subtle way, but you rolled crit. She takes note. Yeah, I give her a little bit of information. Sure. Doesn't, doesn't mean anything. And what's she, your plan in all this? You're truly on... You don't truly have me fooled. She offered me to be with Saito. Ah. Ah, now it all makes sense. I am a Toreador. And that is just... My fatal flaw is love. Are you truly that easy? You wish I, nothing more, truly. Power, influence. Is it that hard for you to comprehend? I suppose so, yeah. Have you never been loved, Rose? Many times. That's all I want, is to be with him. And she offered it to me, and so I will do what she wants. Maybe I'm a fool, but uh, if there's anything I've ever believed coming out of your mouth, it's that. Your unhealthy obsession with the man is... He died so that I could be in this position. If not for him, I would be the one stuck in the abyss. Final death, whatever. I'd be gone. Do you I know didn't... what it was that Saito was working on before his death? Uh, do I know what he was working on? I don't you know. He was doing a lot of things. Yeah, I like thin the blood thin railroad. blood thing. Yeah. yeah. His journal. Yeah, you have his journal. You know he was doing a lot of research into the abyss. Um, I don't want to sound dumb in front of her. Uh, so <laughs> I, uh, Tracy is going to, um, uh, Ava, Ava will say I am aware of many of the things he was doing before he died I know he was up to some things with you too and how are you so certain that his allegiances are with you and not me are you so certain I don't see Saito as well no Rose of that I am certain if anything else in this world, I am certain of that. So don't, you're trying so hard. You really are. You're trying so hard to get me to see whatever it is you have planned to see your point of view. But I've already made up my mind. I already know my place. You see her chew on those words, roll around in her head as she takes in everything you've said. Well, then only one of us is going to be right by the end of all this. You saved my life. For that, I'm thankful. And I'm excited to see which one of us ends up correct. I already know. Now, I guess formalities are in order. Do I owe you a boon? I know Ali won't take it, but... He put in the work for this. So you can owe him the boon. I expect you to reach out to Rhonda and inform her. I suppose I will. The size of the boon can be discussed. It did save your life. I'm aware. I'm just saying. It wouldn't be the first time somebody offered a life boon to Ollie. He saved a lot of people. A real Batman, that one. 
We all have our quirks, I guess, things about us. So I will let Rhonda know, perhaps, life, boom. We'll discuss it. Okay. Am I to sit in this prison cell until you deem me trustworthy again? You heard what Dakota said. It was until you reported back. Ava, resolve composure check. Oh, God. <laughs> um, please don't let me see Saito. Okay, three successes. <laughs> As you sp finish speaking with her, and it's clear that Rose has no interest in furthering this conversation beyond the moot points the two of you have danced around uh, continually already, you turn to leave. And as you turn, there's a moment where, again, you swear you see a silhouette. But it's hard to determine exactly of who in that time. And as you look over, there's nobody there. You stroll over to the door. And as you grab handle the door and pull it open, you watch as the walls of this place fall away. The floor beneath you separates. But you are not sat in an abyss. As your hand holds the door, the door never leaving its place, even as the frame falls away. In its place, dead, dry trees start sprouting. And before you can get much more than that, we'll end our episode there. And we'll be back next week as we're 15 minutes over. I hate it. I hate it. And we'll see what exactly else that Saito bar. Oh, we did get a very large Saito so bar. Yeah, so we got four hundred oh. Saito bar. Okay, it can't just be one. Thing, yeah, no, okay? that's that's uh, that makes sense. You're gonna oh. see on the other side, Dakota and and Ollie. She opens the door and then she stands there as, oh, as uh, her eyes kind of like oh roll shit, roll the back of her head. Here we go again. Uh, every <laughs> and then we'll time. consider that even with the Saito bar for, for now. <laughs> Uh, that's it. We're off to go do an after show, as we always do, which you can catch over at patreon.com slash pod by night. Thank you very much for my brain. Um, <laughs> you can get the audio version at $5, video version at 10 and a bunch of other cool stuff supporting the show. And if you missed it or got halfway through or, or missed the first half or what have you, if you subscribe to the Twitch channel, you can get access to their VODs instantaneously. But if you wait a few days, it'll be over for free at our partners at youtube.com slash roll the number four and then it roll for it. All of our stuff goes up for free over there. And if you're new, go check out season one and season two. Catch yourself up as we roll to the very end of the story here in the back half of season three. Uh, did I miss anything? Or are we good to get out of here? I think that's all the important stuff. Yep. We will see you next week, everybody. Thank you for coming Bye. back after a little bit Bye, of a break. Gang. So happy to be back. Bye. Bye.